Over 20 years ago, Alex Jones created the media platform called InfoWars, and in the decades since, it's grown into a truly remarkable institution with over 200 radio affiliates, tens of millions of unique website visitors monthly, and a 24-7 live news TV channel broadcasting from state-of-the-art studios in Austin, Texas. InfoWars has become the most trusted independent news source in the country dedicated to delivering breaking news, live coverage of special events, and exclusive reports you won't find anywhere else. While the old guard media struggles to maintain supremacy in a landscape rocked by innovation and technology, InfoWars has been at the forefront of the information revolution. From 8 million radio listeners, over 2 million YouTube subscribers, or the billions of views of our online content, InfoWars proves dominant in every facet of media we enter. For the hardest hitting reports, uncompromising analysis, for high profile interviews and bombshell revelations, accept no substitutes. Demand truth. Demand InfoWars. InfoWars. Tomorrow's news today. I was told on air and off air by the second person to walk on the moon, Buzz Aldrin, that there was an obelisk on the lone moon of Mars, indeed like 2001 Space Odyssey, sending out a signal towards Saturn, not Jupiter. And he then went on further on air and also off air when I when I met with him personally once and also had a phone call with him until people clamped down on him because his secretary was a big listener. That there were big underground lakes, not just frozen water on Mars with its southern and northern ice caps. And that there was also underground water on the moon. And I, I talked about this before it broke. Buzz Aldrin told me when I was out in L.A., this is like 10 years ago now, he said, yeah, in about a year, they're going to launch an Indian probe. They're going to launch an Indian probe into the surface like a meteorite of the moon to then eject up the water particula and prove the theory that there are underground lakes. Now, he's telling me all this. And then... I'm walking through an airport almost a year later, and there's USA Today, Indian probe crashed in, discovers underground lake. I mean, what does NASA know that we haven't been told? That's the whole point, is we have a breakaway civilization here. We have a whole system of 30, 40, 50-year advanced technologies. That's confirmed. We're not being made privy to what's really going on. Life extension, you name it. I want access to that. I want my wife to have that. I want you to have that. I want my children to have that. But the people at Alphabet and Google and Facebook and Twitter, they're on power trips. They think the public's profane and ignorant and stupid, and we don't deserve access to all that. Well, you know, our ancestors developed the technology. They paid the taxes. We built the military-industrial complex and the scientific-technological complex that Eisenhower talked about. They always talk about the military part of the speech, but he said the technological elite that controls it. It's a 21-minute farewell address, 1961, two nights before Kennedy got sworn in. And he was very nervous when it was happening. Somebody dropped a book or something. There's a bang, and you see him jump. Well, he thought he was going to get killed, even talking about it. And he said all the money, all the ideas are being siphoned off behind this wall. And we need to beware of this. And he's the guy that, you know, helped head up to a great extent the Manhattan Project. So there's a whole bunch of private systems and public systems bigger than the Manhattan Project by orders of magnitude. And this broadcast really used to be about exposing that. Not all the phony stuff and unproven things, but, but what we know. And I know for a fact, Trump is still trying to get access to that in all these programs. They're trying to keep it walled off from him and keep him in the dark. That's why there's a governmental mutiny going on. And that's why the revoking of these security clearances they're moving towards is very, very important with Hillary uh, being chief amongst them. He hasn't announced that yet, but that's in the works. Clapper, Brennan, Comey, and others, because this is the new royalty, these people hiding behind these ultra-secret security clearances that, I mean, top secret's low level. And then you've got all these other levels that most people don't even know about, um, you know, into these higher 
areas of really just breakaway civilizations and and and, and mad scientist type run situations. So I'm on record saying there's underground lakes uh, that aren't frozen on Mars, according to our sources. I'm on record uh, saying that, that they would discover underground lake uh, lakes on the moon with a Indian probe. I, I did break that before anybody else did. And and I'm just that's you, you get next year's news today. You get next decade's news today here. Uh, but only because I have these sources who've been proven to be very, very accurate. But then they get onto the sources and they clam up. All right, we'll be right back with just so much huge news. Uh, it's a true plethora, a very special transmission on this Wednesday, 25th day of July, 2018, global broadcast. Please spread the word. We are hated by the enemy. It's Wednesday, the 25th day of July, 2018. They have discovered massive underground lakes on Mars, just as Plato wrote 2,300 years ago. They've discovered big underground lakes on the moon. What does that all mean? It's coming up in just a moment. The year is 1995, and InfoWars launches the last of America's counter-globalist probes. In a freak mishap, InfoWars.com and Alex Jones are blown out of their trajectory into an orbit which freezes his life support systems and returns Alex Jones to Earth 25 years later. later. Transdimensionally, over the space-time continuum through full space, where people are extremely lazy. The social engineers are there laughing. What we envisioned 100 years ago, 20 years ago, is now reality. While the society unravels, men run around totally frantic, not knowing how to be men, and women run around frantic, not knowing how to be women, and they don't understand that it's an animating contest of life and that it's fulfilling to be informed, it's fulfilling to be involved, it's fulfilling. InfoWars, tomorrow's news, today. You are listening to an InfoWars.com Frontline Report. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. From deep in the heart of FEMA Region 6, Austin, Texas, transmitting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. All right, let me do this in this first main segment of the broadcast. Let me just tell you what we've got on the plate here, just to give you an idea of how insane things have gotten. Good things are happening, bad things are happening, crazy things are happening, amazing things are happening. Massive underground lake found on Mars, raising possibility of life. It is a giant salt sea, according to the spectrometers from the ground-penetrating radar. Now, of course, NASA knew about this 25 years ago, according to my sources, and we've also broke that before, and the lakes under the lunar surface as well. We're going to be going over all of that today. Uh, also, Tucker Carlson has come out with a former special operations colonel who heads up a major private intelligence group and said they're getting basically uh, chatter and, and concerns that there could be a false flag stage to maneuver President Trump into an all-out war with Iran to actually undermine the U.S. recovery uh, and let the chi -coms outflank us while we're distracted with that situation. As much as I'd like to see the mullahs removed, uh, that's absolutely true. So that's coming up. Uh, you can't make this up. Italian bishop, I would turn all churches into mosque. Meanwhile, a member of parliament in the UK that's just been critical of the giant child kidnapping rings that are confirmed, run by the Islamicist, um, they have to have massive security now as the gangs, they say Asian gangs. No, it's Islamicist gangs. Uh, the, the, the rule is never say Muslims. Uh, they uh, are, are, are being protected and allowed to do that. She has to have security now because they're death threatening her. And that leads us to this little tidbit that I'll cover at the bottom of the hour. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all the big hearings in Congress about shutting InfoWars off last week. If Drudge Report wouldn't have linked our actual video three months ago when they said that I said nobody died at Parkland and the video is banned by YouTube to take our channel down, uh, actually said that the police stood down, which was later confirmed. We just had eyewitnesses. So they said a lot about what we were saying to both censor us and uh, not let us expose that the police stood down, which again is now confirmed. Uh, we got f five community guideline uh, strikes. Uh, and so if and people say, well, wait, three strikes and you're gone. Well, th that's right. We're in the, we're in the, uh, 
process of appealing it, and then and then the site with billions of views will be gone if, if they don't. And, and it's all up to George Soros and the Media Matters folks that uh, literally fund the groups that go out and false flag everything where they uh, you know, flag. That's another type of false flag where they put a, a, a flag claiming you violate community standards for violence. And the video is Trump's speech about the snake. Um, and, and then we show people climbing over fences and people kicking women down steps and things like that. This is stuff that's shown on the news. We are news. This will be shown on CBS during the family hour. In fact, much of what we show uh, it, it has been on mainstream news, and it comes from television, and uh, it shows the, the illegal alien Islamists robbing people's vehicles, pulling uh, people out of their 18-wheelers, hitting people over the head with bike locks, uh, throwing their own children on railroad tracks. It doesn't show the baby being run over. This has all been on the news. And so because it's so powerful, all five videos are introed with the snake footage that we're showing right now. And, of course, some would argue, well, don't show it again. They'll totally ban you. Well, that's why we're getting ready the court cases and the rest of it. It's because we're the test case, folks. Once we're banned, everybody's banned. We don't show the ISIS, Al-Qaeda-trained seven-year-olds shooting people in the back of the head, We just like ABC does. We just show them training to do it. We don't actually show any blood, any gore. It's, it's very sanitized. Uh, but, 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 but we do show the basics of what you would see during the family hour. And, and you know, some of the stuff we don't want to show. YouTube left it up for seven years uh, of a Showtime special where they simulate raping newborn babies. Now, YouTube left that up. We blurred the man's rear end and, and other things and the baby simulated rape. I expect they'll probably take that video down and say it violated standards. See, they can show the raping of the baby simulated and show the man's big hairy butt. We blur it out, we will be banned. Doesn't matter, the juries will all see it. And we've got the cases. We've got the internal Google employees admitting they're censoring us, the racketeering, all of it. And the left goes, oh my gosh, he's attacking YouTube and Zuckerberg at Facebook. They've been leaving Jones up. You know, wh why is he saying they're censoring? Because they've already got a shadow banned. So they play along like they're not doing it so we don't get the court cases. And so it, it doesn't become blaringly obvious to all of you. But we're dead already on those platforms. That's why Infowars.com on our own apps and Infowars.com forward slash app, the video app that's free, Infowars official, are surging because folks know they have to come to Newswars.com and Infowars.com. But I digress. That's coming up. This is the banning, just like in Europe, of criticizing Islam. And all the videos are prefaced with the snake intro. That's nothing you wouldn't see on Fox News. Yeah, it does show gays being thrown off buildings, but I mean, you know, it's shot from 400 yards away and you see guys let up and thrown off. There's no blood, but they're killing real people. You know, why can't you show that at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, folks getting thrown off buildings if it's a cartoon or, 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 or at 6 o'clock on, on local news? But if I show it, I'm censored, see, because I'm saying it's bad and I'm saying it's Islamic. And remember last year when the Allah Akbar guy attacked people in New York with a truck and said he did it for Allah? And that afternoon, they were having hearings on censoring the, the, the conservatives, and Congressman Quigley was like, I noticed InfoWars was number one with their fake news, that it was an Islamic attack, and that the mayor was warned about it, which was all true. We had links to where he'd warned them that, that, that this was coming. And Twitter, Facebook, and Google, they all go, we took it down at lunch, sir. And he goes, well, I want it to take, I don't want it to ever get to number one. They go, sir, the algorithm goes in in two months, they will be censored. A couple months later, it hit. So they've given us an arrogant blueprint of the whole plan. So here's the deal. I'm going to cover it more when we come back. I only got into a few of the articles. There's literally hundreds of them. They're all insane. Sharia compliant YouTube removes videos criticizing Islamic immigration. Infowars hit with community strike. It's actually five of them. Uh, as war on free speech continues. And we went and reviewed the videos. We're posting them on our own server. Last time they took down two videos and lied about us. The videos got 14 million views in three days because Drudge linked to them. We're going to add these to Paul Watson's article as soon as they're up. They're being uploaded now. The raw files that they say are hateful and evil and violent, they could have put age restriction on it. They didn't do age restriction. They don't put age restriction on YouTube hosts who are officially work for YouTube making fun of people that have committed suicide and showing their dead bodies. 
and, 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 and weird torture porn of torturing little kitty cats, which should be censored. It's, it's, it's obscene. But us showing you the giant Islamicist waves, you can't see that. So the article's up on Infowars.com, and I'm asking Drudge and everybody else, I'm shooting up the bat signal here, I need help, because they're just trying to wear us out and help people just get used to censorship. This is the biggest yet, the banning of criticizing radical Islam. I've absolutely got to be very judicious in the next two segments, because I've got to get to Tucker Carlson with the top intelligence analyst, very respected, saying they believe the globalists and the neocons along the leftists are going to try to launch a Gulf of Tonkin to get us into a war with Iran. I have agreed that Something there in the Persian Gulf is what will probably trigger it. That's coming up. Next segment, uh, nuclear watchdog warns of radioactive leak at South Carolina fuel factory. That's out of RT. Uh, there's some local news covering it, but nothing national. you got to go to the Russians to get it. That's why British news, Russian news, Japanese news. doesn't mean they're perfect. It means they'll give perspectives we're not getting. Like no news in the U.S. on Nicaragua except for CBS and just the total martial law hell, thousands being killed every few days. Venezuela has thousands dying a week now. Uh, it, it just, it's just total insanity. That's all coming up. It's so huge, though. And I don't want to make the broadcast about us because it's about you, but, but we're the t t test case. Do you understand that not just InfoWars, but we know of hundreds of other prominent channels, Jihad Watch, you name it, that are being banned off YouTube if we simply... Don't even show beheading videos that CNN can show. We just show Islamists pouring in and robbing people's cars and shooting guns in the air and stuff. And they say it's violent. And they don't age restrict it. They take our videos down. And if they don't accept our appeal, the site will be shut down. And you've got CNN, MSNBC, all of them cheerleading for this, saying once they take us down, they will take you down. And, and, and I'm showing you the footage here. This is what they ban. This is what they say, I violated community guidelines, showing you this is the footage. I'm not going to stop. They're not going to control what I put out. This is, I, I only put out what I would think would be reasonable on the nightly news. or what you'd see on PBS, and, 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 and this is what you should be seeing on the news, but they're covering this up now. They don't want this seen. Okay, uh, by the way, ISIS took responsibility for the big attack that shot 15 people, killed two of them in uh, Canada a few days ago. They knew the guy was an Islamicist. They knew he was in ISIS. They knew he was screaming Allah Akbar. It's all come out, but now it's not a big news story. Can you imagine if it had been a Christian or a conservative? Again, there's an agenda here. That's all coming up. It's just getting insane. Also, former special ops official shocked White House isn't considering stripping Hillary Clinton's security clearance. We've got Larry Clayman of Judicial Watch, a founder of that, and now has his new organization joining us to break it all down. Cohen leaks confidential Trump Cohen recording. I listened to this with headphones this morning very carefully, and it's obviously an edited tape. You can put it on a timeline and see if there's edits, if, if you know how audio looks in a computer. But we're going to do a piece on that later today for uh, Schroyer show, the, the, the war room. Putting the file, you can see where it, 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 it jumps and cuts and, and has, has been manipulated and just ends with the word cash. You're not even sure it's Trump's voice, but they haven't denied that right as he was about to get married to Melania, that he had had this long-term relationship with this other super gorgeous lady who she said he treated her really nice and he felt bad after he got married and he saw her a few times but got her money even though she didn't want the money. And, and, and you hear Cohen creep into the room all sneakily and, and this is what they've got. No wonder Trump said release the, you know, the 14 recordings. This is the best thing they've got. This is all they've got. Wow. Unbelievable. And again, the tape, when you know wavelengths, when you know the signature of audio, you learn that you can blow it up to like right down to milliseconds and you can see cuts. Audio doesn't just go from really high to zero if it's recorded in a room. There's always a background. 
but it, in milliseconds, though, when there's a cut, it puts a line in it, and we can see the cut. Just like when we told you about Obama's birth certificate, I said, I don't know the truth about this. I don't know where he was really born. This thing was in six layers. They use WordPress uh, for Microsoft, the fake typewriter font, because with a real typewriter, every splat is like a snowflake. It's, it's, it's individual how you push the button. But with WordPress and, 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 and Word and all these other systems, the typewriter functions are all the same. It looks like it has splats, like a typewriter, but they're all the same. We looked it up, and I said, it's fake. Uh, this is from the, you know, early 1960s or whatever, and we looked at the T's, the I's, the C's. They're the, they're the same thing. It's fake. And then two years later, top German and top Italian scientist came out from two different firms and said, we find they're using Microsoft Word, and we find there's six layers. Yeah, I've worked in media for 20-something years. I know la they left them in layers. The, the file was in layers to make us freak out about it and to think he was really from Kenya when he was from Hawaii, Frank Marshall Davis' son. It's just like, wow, the way they set us up is amazing. But I've learned the tricks over the years. So it's, 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 it's the same thing here. Um, I pulled it in last night on my home computer, but I've got one of those little rinky-dink free audio files. We've got P Pro Tools and a bunch of other systems. So I, I, we're pulling it in here, and we're going to show people that the tape is edited. Uh, so that, I think that's going to be pretty big news, don't you? That, that whatever they put out has been edited? Okay. We're going to come back and uh, just get into all of it here on the other side. First off, I set out an InfoWars life to find out whatever the science and the research and the industry and the consumers think is the best. All of that comes into it. And then I do things like, let's put twice the amount of product in the bottle and then have it at the price competitive to what others sell half as much. That's number one. And we've got over 60 products now in InfoWars Lifeline. We're launching three more today. We've had these products in for two weeks. I've been so busy, I've not even cut ads. I've not even promoted them. I, I don't even have words to describe how good they are. This will now be the fish oil spectrum that my children take because I was already buying them the rated best in the country. And with a process to remove the mercury to non-detectable levels, with all of the known spectrums of, of, of fish oil that are the best for the brain. And now we've come out with one stronger for less of a price. It's called Honor Roll. And it's smaller fish oil caplets, so it's good for children, gel caps to absorb and, and to get down. And, and this will now be what my four children take. I mean, it's a fact. They tell you, even when a baby stops breastfeeding, you know, put the 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 the, the type of fish oils that are good for the brain in their bottles. Give it to them. You know, their, their IQs boost, everything. But for adults, for your body, for your energy, for your stamina, for your brain, for the heart. And then we've got Ultimate Krill Oil, EPA, DHA, and other key compounds. Ultimate Krill Oil, similar formula, different strokes for different folks. And then we've got Honor Roll. They're all there. This is something everybody should be taking, and it's the best quality at the best price. InfoWarsLife.com. Please check them out today. I'm about to break down some information that is so critical, I don't have words to describe just how serious it is. But I hope that listeners and viewers of this broadcast will call Congress, uh, will get on their knees and pray to God, uh, will uh, just do whatever it it takes to raise awareness about what's happening so that we're not caught flat-footed on this situation. I don't like the Mullahs in Iran and their Islamic dictatorship. I like to see their people liberated. I don't like their belligerent activities. I don't like the threats they've been making. I support the president. Uh, their supreme leader has made more threats saying, we're not going to talk trash, we're just going to take action against you. But a few days ago he said, mother all wars, They've got Hezbollah sleeper cells all over the world that make ISIS and Al-Qaeda look like choir boys. Now, that said, 
Communist China has been allied with Iran. Communist China has encircled the U.S. financially, politically. They own our debt. They bought off Hollywood. They're financing the leftist movements. Antifa, even the Washington Post admits, is run by Chinese intelligence. I mean, if we were having a witch hunt for chai -com agents, we'd be... It's like you're out there fishing for Russia collusion. They maybe catch a little sardine or something every few days. You go out there and throw your lines in on chai -com infiltration... Your boat's going to sink because there's going to be so many giant sharks and whales you're bringing in. Better get a bigger boat, to quote Jaws. So that's what's going on. That's the facts. That's the reality. So Iran has a lot of deep state connections and, and plays a lot of hanky-panky with both political parties. And they're acting very, very belligerently, and a, and a new war or a new crisis with Iran could be used to divert our resources, our energy, away from the political and financial reboot of the country. Uh, any fiascos or disasters like Jimmy Carter had with Iran could be used to embarrass Trump. And you see the neocons trying to direct us down that path. I think it's very, very dangerous. There's an article from informationliberation.com. It's up on infowars.com. Everybody needs to get this out to folks. Tucker Carlson and a, uh, a very respected uh, former counterterrorism uh, special operations colonel, McGregor, warned Trump Gulf of Tonkin incident could be staged to get the U.S. into war with Iran. What did I just say on Monday? I said I would look for this to be triggered in the Persian Gulf, and we could look at some type of false flag event as well, because this is how a lot of wars start not just in the U.S., with the Gulf of Tonkin in 1964 and the Tonkin Resolution or 1898 and the sinking of the Maine that was now admittedly staged. And it just goes on from there, but the British were famous for this. The French did it. False flags at sea are their favorite way to do it. Because what happens out at sea stays at sea. It's very easy to control the story, and control any witnesses. So, but Iran's belligerent. They may attack our ships anyways. And, and be promised by insiders this is going to upset our peace deal with North Korea, all of it. So the globalists want war is what I'm saying. And, 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 and Iran is isolated. And Iran can be basically reformed and dealt with with sanctions, I believe, and many other experts believe, if we don't let them trip us into a big crisis. Uh, so here's Tucker Carlson uh, and the expert on counterterrorism, uh, Colonel Douglas McGregor, uh, last night breaking this all down. Here it is. Do you, do you think the advisors around him, whose comments we just played, Nikki Haley, for example, or John Bolton, I mean, they seem to come at this with pre-existing agendas. Well, of course, but the good news is that President Trump hasn't listened very much to his advisors. If he did, we would never have made any progress on the Korean Peninsula. We would not be <laughs> working point. with the Chinese. We, wouldn't, we would never have met with Vladimir Putin. So God bless the president. He doesn't listen to these people. So I, I'm not too worried about that. The thing that does worry me, though, given the, the, some of the comments that are being made, is this red meat on the table for the war lobby. You and I know that there are a lot of people who would welcome conflict with Iran. That's obvious. I think the president yeah. needs to watch carefully for the potential for something like the Gulf of Tonkin incident. Many of your yes. viewers may not remember that. It never happened. And we could very well be treated to something like that in the Gulf. We should watch for that. And this is an, this is an example of President Trump's comments on fake news. He should not be sabotaged by fake news. I, I agree. We, we've seen it happen twice in Syria. Twice. Uh, Colonel, thank you very much. Great to see you. Tucker Carls is one of the only people that will point out, it's actually three times, that they've staged chemical attacks ISIS has against themselves, and they've been caught. And then we're supposed to forget about that. It's three times. Uh, so, again, you, you've got a former counterterrorism expert, 30-plus years in special operations, commanding uh, black ops all over the world. I mean, there's guys highly decorated, one of the most respected people in special operations, saying... They're getting ready to stage something. We should really be worried about that. You know, I made a film about the Gulf of Tonkin being staged, and the mainstream media said I was a conspiracy theorist. But one year later, they declassified it on the 40th anniversary that it was staged and released the McNamara tapes admitting it all. Now, let's go ahead and move to the next story. This is a big one. You remember the eight years of Barack Obama? Hussein Obama, when more than 10,000 501c3 churches and 501c4 and other charities 
veterans groups, pro-gun groups, conservative groups, would have their tax exemption revoked. In some cases, uh, criminal charges were filed. And you tune into MSNBC five years ago in the thick of this, and they'd go, well, the Tea Party's racist. These Tea Party groups and churches deserve to be indicted. Now, I believe in the First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion and the free exercise thereof. Then it gets into freedom of press and speech. And, but first, it's religion. And, and Trump's trying to get legislation through where churches can do whatever they want. But they say it's political if a church is anti-abortion. No, that's called being Christian. But they turned churches into charities in the 60s. This is something, again, LBJ did to get control of the churches. So they went from being churches to 501c3. Doesn't mean you don't have a good preacher and it's still not a church in some cases. It's 501c3, but they've got a muzzle on their face unless they're Reverend Wright in Chicago saying GD America, GD John Wayne, GD George Washington, GD America. But then Maxine Waters, who's always cheerleading to go after any conservative churches that are pro-gun, pro-family, anything, try to muzzle conservatives where they've all got their tail between their legs, she goes to a famous church that's known for corruption, you name it, milking their old parishioners, you name it. And she says she's been sent by God to get Trump and that we've got to vote Democrat in the midterms. So this is just flagrant electioneering in one of the biggest and oldest black churches in California. But then they're flagrantly targeting churches that are right of Lenin or Mao. It's illegal. It's a fraud. So when politics becomes religion, Mad Maxine breaks federal tax laws to slam Trump in church, the Democrats need to get gored by their own ox. They're the ones that have been persecuting everybody with this. And until it's repealed, I want their ass thrown under the jail. But that's all about leftist intimidation, isn't it? Here she is. Yeah. To do the work that I've been sent to do, and as Pastor said to me when I came in this morning, when God sends you <laughs> to do something, you just do it. Yeah. So she sent by God vote uh, against the Republicans. <laughs> Democrat. And she goes on to say she's sent by God and all this other crud. Full clip is on Infowars.com. Uh, so the name of the church is Fame. Yeah, keeping blacks on the plantation is what it's all about. So unbelievable, folks, the, the persecution. Uh, I mean, they had like conservative FBI retiree groups that got SWAT teamed and, and lost their 501c, you know, four or whatever. I mean, there'd been total persecution of gun groups, veterans groups, Christian groups, and, 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 and uh, saying, well, well, you're pro-family. That's a political stance. You're anti-abortion. No, it's not. That's your religious stance. They tell Christians they can't hand out Christmas cards at schools or valedictorians can't say thank Jesus or uh, quarterbacks when they make a touchdown pass can't say thank God. You know what? We all have our free speech. We're going to do it. But the Democrats have violated their own law. Throw them under the jail. Well, they say a picture tells a thousand words. Well, so does a word. And the word is R-A-T, as in the rodent family, or meaning big, fat, stinking rat. Uh, let's put DrudgeReport.com up on screen for TV viewers. The rat, Cohen. The rat, who tried to set Trump up for years, recorded, reportedly hundreds of recordings, 14 that the feds have, who then, the scandal is, they leak it to CNN in a federal court case against the president, an investigation Mueller started, metastasizes into his lawyer and payoffs over a decade ago to girlfriends. Unbelievable. And, and I use the term payoff. This, this latest girlfriend wasn't asking him for any money, but he felt bad he'd gotten married. She, she was in the running. I know the inside baseball that Trump literally asked his sons Right before he married Melania, he said, is Melania the one? Or is, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to leave it right there. But let's just say Trump had trouble turning loose of a couple old girlfriends. Stormy Daniels was a dalliance, and, and, and that was a bad thing, but he never said he was a saint. But none of these women have said that they mistreated him. But if you're paying for somebody to take care of him, 
Fine, let them call it. It's not illegal to pay somebody. It's not campaign violation either. Just because you're in a campaign, you give your money to somebody. So they're taken care of. That's like if somebody, you know, works here and they die, and then I give their wife some money. Is that a payoff? No, that's taking care of somebody you've had a relationship with in business or life or whatever. But I digress. The whole issue here is what is Mueller doing going to federal court last week and saying, we're recording the phone calls from jail of Manafort and we know his strategy in court. He wants to uh, delay this trial. Here's the transcript of what he said. Legal discussions in a court case illegally being used in a filing? That's never been done in U.S. history. That is 100% illegal. Show was letting Jerry Epstein be an informant for a decade while he ran little girdles on board planes for degenerate men to have sex with them. Kevin Spacey flew on the plane quite a bit, but he liked other things. And, of course, Harvey Weinstein. But he's the upright guy. He's the good guy. But I digress. I digress. We've got the tape of Cohen. The first one they're doling out. And... Trump's got like five different things going. They're talking about all these different things. And he's like, yeah, I delay that lawsuit about getting my old divorce records, you know, embarrassing my family from 30 years ago. Yeah, do this, do that. Yeah, whatever. And you hear the word cash and it cuts off. And we've looked at the audio file. It's been edited. We're going to present that later today. But right now, let's go ahead and play the rat, the rat creeping in. You can even hear how he's nervous. Like, oh, hi, how's it going? Hey, oh, there's this thing. We take care of that. Huh? You know, that guy. Here it is. What we can do to get rid of this because it's so false what they're saying. It's such bull. Um, I think I think this goes away quickly. I think what I think it's probably better. Do the Charleston thing. Just this time. Uh, yeah. In two weeks it's fine. I think right now it's it's better. You know? Okay, honey. You take care of yourself. Hi. Thanks, Pam. Yep, I'm proud of you. So long. Bye. Like great poll, by the way. Yeah. Seen it. Great poll. Make a progress. Big time. And you guys are good guys. Yeah. Oh, Pastor Scott? I believe he's... No. Pastor Scott. What's, what's happening? Oh, no. He's... Can we use him anymore? Oh, yeah. 100... No, you're talking about Mark Burns. He... We told him well, to... I, I don't mean that. Uh, Mark Burns. Can we use him no. anymore? No. Richard um, Lefrak. I'm sorry. Richard uh, Lefrak just called. He just had... We have a chance. He had an idea for you. Okay. Um, hit pause again. So we... This is the best they've got. Is a woman that... They were in a relationship for years when he was divorced from the last wife, and then he's about to get married, and he's like, baby, I'm sorry. And it overlaps a little, and he goes, hey, here's some money. I mean, I've looked into the case. This is what a billionaire pays, takes care of one of his girlfriends? Call it a payoff. It's not illegal. How would the girlfriend feel if she thought she was going to get married to him and he didn't help her out? And I've seen her in interviews. She told Anderson Cooper, I didn't want money, but he insisted. Yeah, it reeks of desperation. Let's go back to it. Here it is. Got served from the New York Times. I told you this was regarding to unseal the divorce papers with Ivana. Um, we're fighting it. Um, Kasowitz is going to you never be able to get that. Though. Never, never. Kasowitz says they don't ever be able. They don't have a. Give me a couple. They don't have a legitimate purpose. And you so have a, a woman that doesn't want to see it. Correct. Uh, so, been handling. Yes, it. and it's all it's been going on for a while. For about two, three weeks now. All you have to do is delay it for. Even after that, it's not going to ever be opened. There's no. There's no purpose for it. Um, told you about Charleston. Um, I need to open up a company for the transfer of all of that info regarding our friend David, you know, so that I'm going to do that right away. I've actually come up and, I spoke, me, and I've spoken to Alan Weisselberg about how to set the whole thing up uh, with so what are we gonna funding. The, uh, yes. Um, and it's all the stuff, all the stuff, because, you know, you never know where that company, you never know where he's going to be. Correct. So I'm, I'm all over that. And I spoke to Alan about it when it comes time for the financing, which will be... Listen, what financing? We'll have to pay you. So no, 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 no. I got... No, no, no. Hey, no, how are you? They claim the word cash is in there. I can't even hear it. And then Cohen's on TV going, that's what criminals do. That's what mobsters do. Wow. So this is the best they've got on Trump. I I'm actually impressed here. 
I am really impressed that this is the best they've got with Mueller, with illegal spying on him during the campaign and after. All this intel, and this is what they've got. Three women over 15 years that Trump gave between $100,000 and $200,000 apiece to him. And they say he treated them like royalty. Wow, that's really great, man. That, that's really nice. And, and by the way, other than Stormy Daniels, the relationships, the other two started during the time he was not married. So I'm like, wow, this is like, he's not even as big a playboy as I thought. And this is how he gets treated? And then Mueller in a Russia investigation grabs his lawyer's info and then puts it on CNN and no one's even going, what the hell's going on here? This is the desperation of these people. This is insane. I have a lot of kinship with Trump only because I bet on it. America's coming back. I know I'm right. I'm being persecuted like the day is long. And then I just, I don't know anybody else been persecuted like I have been. Trump way worse than me. He's the only guy. So he's in a club, you see, with me. And we're we love America. We're not screw people over. I don't care what color you are. We want prosperity. We want to tell the truth. You got these crazy people like Mueller and Comey that help cover up child kidnapping rings, Epstein, all of it. And it's like, really, these, these, these weird weirdos are gonna rule our lives? No. Now listen. I'm not Trump. I don't own 100 big buildings and hotels and golf courses, and, and he's got a, a, hundreds of lawsuits against him. We got like 20. 10 have been thrown out. It wasn't cheap. And they're censoring us and blocking us, advertising everywhere. You, you, you know what they've done. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, you want us to win? You want somebody to fight? I'm going to fight to the end like a pit bull. That's just, that's just because these people are evil. You don't have to ask me to fight. I'm going to keep fighting, even if the dog food and the water doesn't get put in my bowl during breaks. I'm going to fight to the death. But if you want me to fight harder, put the food in the bowl, put the water in the dish, and I, I, will, I, will, I will attack with everything I've got, and I'll never stop. You've got 100% commitment. My family, my name, everything I am is on the line. I am, and, I, and by the way, I love it. I love being 100% in. Total commitment. But I need your financial support. Now, everybody who's done any research knows fish oil is magic. Fish oil is incredible. Fish oil is the one supplement I make sure I take every day. I can be exhausted, 10 o'clock at night, do some radio interview. Coffee doesn't work. You know what helped me quit drinking at night? Because because I've, I've, I mean, I've cut back drinking massively over the last few years. You know what did it? Fish oil. Remember my dad going, man, you promote fish oil. You got a sponsor that has it. He goes, you know what it does for your brain, your blood pressure, everything? My dad's, you know, obviously a world surgeon and retired dentist, and I'm like, yeah, I know a little bit. Well, I started taking fish oil a couple years ago, and I can be, this is me personally, super down and exhausted, and I gobble four or five big fish oils, and I am in heaven. So I'm just telling you, man, fish oil is the electrochemical juice of the body. We have come out with the very best krill oil, fish oil, and then honor roll. That's the full spectrum of known fish oils for the brain. There's a lot of it's for the heart. This is for brain, honor roll at InfoWarsLife.com. Out of the gates, it's 25% off, 40% off when you get the combo of all three together. We need funding. It's a win-win. If you're not taking fish oil, by the way, this has a process to strip the mercury out. Others don't. If you're not taking it, you're crazy. Alex Jones here back live, coming up in about 15 minutes for the balance of the hour. Larry Clayman, founder of Judicial Watch, uh, one of the great attack dogs out there for freedom, the only guy that's won against the NSA, illegal spying on Americans. He's got a real strategy to really go after Hillary, Comey, uh, and uh, Brennan, and Mueller, and others. So that's coming up. Also, I'm going to clarify 100% uh, uh, clear I don't want anything to happen to Mueller. My whole high noon showdown politically, I'm going to take you out like a gunfight at the OK Corral. That's you know, that's like saying our football team's going to kill you. Everybody knows I'm not for violence offensively. I, 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 I actually believe we would lose the fight against the globalists if we start a physical fight first. We might lose it even if they started. I, it's the last thing I want. So I'll break that down briefly in the next segment as well. But just the way the media spins things, it's incredible. Uh, so that's all coming up briefly, though. Uh, Joe Rogan is a really smart guy, and he has a lot of diverse guests on his show, and he's got undoubtedly the number one podcast in the world, routinely 20 million viewers every time he does a show. Because, you know, everybody can say, oh, I had 20 million here, 50 million there, 10 million here, but every time it's 20 million. When I came on, it's one of the biggest podcasts he ever had, 40-plus million. 
That was back in February of 2017. And I got mad when he kind of went with mainstream news that, you know, Soros wasn't a Nazi collaborator, whatever. Joe was saying, listen, I don't even know the facts of that. I was just going off the news and what Roseanne Barr had apologized for. But on the subject of Joe Rogan, I believe he's a good guy who is morally trying to tell the truth. And I don't judge him uh, for some of the things that he said or done because he's just looking at all perspectives. And that said, I'm not saying he's right saying I'm wrong that Anthony Bourdain was not killed nefariously in foul play by somebody that wanted insurance money or by Hollywood star killers or by the Clinton mafia because he was getting ready to go public against them. But now that I've talked to people separate from Joe who knew Bourdain and who knew what was going on in New Jersey and New York when he came to visit, and, and since I got contacted by a lot of folks that knew Bourdain, he had a serious alcohol problem and some other problems and was really depressed about it. A lot of this he'd been public about. And I learned that he did talk to other people about suicide and that uh, his reported new girlfriend who had been exposing uh, some of the sex abuse stuff of Weinstein to him, she'd been stepping out with a couple guys. He'd gotten really depressed over it. And then he got really jet lagged and, 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 and really just burnt out. Uh, and that I think it was reasonable for Joe Rogan to say that he thinks he really committed suicide. And, and, and I'm not eating crow here. I just said, oh, Joe, you know, you're, you're wrong or you're covering up. But then when I looked at the facts and talked to folks, it's reasonable to say that Bourdain could have killed himself because now I've talked to a bunch of people that know him and, and know his friends, including somebody that works here, who, who I, I separately said, what did you hear? And it was the exact same thing I had heard about, you know, a certain thing. She don't lie, she don't lie, she don't lie. Cocaine. So I don't want to speak ill of the dead. He was a great guy. He meant well. He was getting ready to go against the Clintons. Uh, that stuff's true. He did do the Elon Musk interview. He was awakening. He did say the things about how, you know, they were threatening him. So they could have killed him. I, I, I was right that he said those things and was about to go public against them. That's true. So that looks suspicious, and I think it should be looked at and investigated. But then I got contacted by a lot of folks going, man, Bourdain. <laughs> Dude, Bourdain could, like, knock out two, three bottles of whiskey a day, six, seven, eight bottles of wine. Bourdain was not proud of it, but Bourdain was like a vacuum cleaner. Uh, when it came to stuff up his nose. Uh, and, and again, I'm not speaking ill of the dead. Everybody's got their issues. I'm not, I'm just saying that, that then I heard all that and how depressed he was and his girlfriend was reportedly cheating on him. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, then I guess I was kind of an a-hole just going, Joe, how dare you say, you know, that he probably committed suicide? Well, I talked to people that say he's about to go public. So you can see my perspective. And I've been proven right that that was going on, but then I learned how messed up Bourdain was, how shot he was, how tortured he was. It's very sad, but at least he had a soul. He was concerned about rape of women and kids, and he was starting to speak out. So I, I think it's an open question, but I think it's very reasonable what Joe Rogan said by saying, hey, look, I think he might have killed himself, Alex. You can't be conclusive. Info Wars comes to mind. Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Alex Jones. But there's a lot of controversy around this network about Alex Jones. Google is being accused of hiding negative stories about Hillary and her campaign by changing its algorithm to bury stories like the Clinton body count story. That's according to website InfoWars. It sounds like it's confirmed there are at least two shooters with a fully automatic weapon. Shot. Dr. Martin Luther King has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. JFK was shot from the back and the front. It was almost as if there were a planned implosion. It just pancaked. They took the babies out of the incubators and left the children to die on the cold floor. I think this is a national security imperative. We have clear things that we do not understand how they work operating in areas that we can't control. UFOs. Is this global governance at last? Is it one world? The central bank is in charge. Israel claims the attack was accidental, but some former U.S. naval officers say it was on purpose. They describe the day's action as part of a continuing cover-up. Russian intelligence compiled a dossier on Mr. Trump during visits to Moscow. Russian scum! Denied everything. He called it all fake news. And he accused CNN of being fake. News. This is a national emergency. If they kill Trump or remove Trump, it will cause a massive civil war in this country. This is a FEMA high level. Of it. We are in a 
are at war with Russia. Are you aware that Mr. Stone also stated publicly that he was in direct communication with Julian Assange and WikiLeaks? The White House and the president are citing Infowars. They can shut us down. You're next. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. It's Alex Jones. Coming up, Larry Klayman has a real plan. He's the guy that's won against the NSA in court, founder of Judicial Watch and other major organizations to really stop the deep state. We'll be talking to him coming up. Let me address this right now because, as everyone knows, they've had congressional hearings twice last year and twice this year in the judiciary, the armed services, and the intelligence committees lying about Infowars, saying things we didn't say, and then calling for us to be shut down. And then I do a lot of things here on air that are tongue-in-cheek, but that are very, very clear satire, and, and they're trolling. It, it's, it's trolling. When I, when I, and I don't troll a lot, but when I troll maybe a couple times a week, I tell you, this is a troll. And the media, even though I say this is a troll, so that it's absolutely you know, marked, they still don't care. They still just go with the lie they want. But that's the troll is that I tell them what I'm really doing so that I morally am not breaking any metaphysical rules, and then they still do it. So, number one, Infowars.com. Sharia-compliant YouTube removes videos criticizing Islamic immigration. Five videos, community guideline strikes, three will shut us down. That's five torpedoes. And they're saying, oh, you can, you can, you can appeal it. Your, your live streaming suspended on, on the main Alan Jones channel, billions of views, 2.4 million subscribers. But obviously, they're not going to let us win the appeal. They're going to shut the channel down. It's here. They had hearings last week. They demanded it. It's here. And what are the videos? It's the snake video. Every video is the snake, an intro video that we've shown many times here that just shows the Islamic invasion of Europe. It's nothing you wouldn't see on the nightly news if they weren't covering it up. But, I mean, it's just showing the Islamic attacks. Does it show beheadings? Does it show the actual violence? It just shows the masses of people and the, and the crime statistics and headlines. And, 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 and the borders collapsing and just stuff out of zombie apocalypse movies. So because it's so powerful, they didn't do an age restriction they just said, you showed violence, even though their own rules say if it's for commentary or analysis, we've totally followed the rules. So, we have that going on. Meanwhile, there were hundreds of articles, uh, ABC News, NBC, CBS, CNN, all of them, including Fox yesterday, because I've been told by everybody, and I've seen the headlines, ran with the headline, Alex Jones, I'm going to cover my mouth when I say this, so they'll edit it and play it. Alex Jones says he's going to shoot and kill Robert Mueller. I never said that. I said politically, high noon, I'm going to face you. Our information warfare is strong. We're going to defeat you. And when I draw with my info, you're going down. Just like I say, the allegory of we're going to blow the Death Star up or you know, the Red River shootout between OU and Texas. They call it a shootout up in Dallas. It, nobody's shooting anybody. Now, when I did it, I had the idea. I'm like, man, look at all these articles about Mueller. Involved in Epstein, Alita Express, using him as an informant to set up billionaires. Kids as young as seven is what came out really in the reports. They let him get off for 13, 14 year old, you know, girls they had flying him to these islands with Bill Clinton and Epstein. And, 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 and because he was an informant, it finally came out. Mueller covered this up. So I'm saying Mueller empowered pedophiles. So I wanted that to get out. I'm sitting there during the break and I go, how do I get that out? Because that's been in a few newspapers, never got coverage. I said, I'll talk about a high noon showdown with him. I'll say it's political, nonviolent, but that politically we're going to destroy him. Politically, we're going to, you know, sharpshoot him. The last thing I'd want is him to actually get hurt, hurt and turn him into a martyr when we're defeating him. My God, <laughs> we're winning. Why, why would we do that? But then, man, I didn't expect it to be on every news channel unit. And then I clicked, oh, my God, they know a lot of my listeners out there really respect me, whatever. They're trying to get somebody who's unstable to go out and actually try to kill somebody to blame it on me. So let me say this a thousand percent clear. He who shoots first loses. He who shoots period is is, is in, the, in the wrong side of history. We're winning the info war. Everyone knows the Democrats are saying kill Trump, 
murder him, kidnap his family, murder him. Mike, it, it's everywhere. In fact, we're rolling some video of that right now with all the stuff we've seen. So I was clear, but the edited thing that Media Matters, George Soros' group put out, was deceptive. When you've got Phil Mudd, the former head of counterterrorism, that means runs assassination squads, three times on CNN saying we're going to kill Trump. That's who you ought to listen to. He's got a history of that. It'd be like if I was some, you know, five-time convicted murderer and I said I was going to kill somebody, the SWAT team would respond because, you know, I got, a, I got a history. Alex Jones doesn't have a history of that. Alex Jones has a history of don't shoot cops in the back of the head because your Black Lives Matter. Uh, don't, don't, don't get violent. Don't, you know, try to work things out. They're the left. I mean, the Denver Post published a big letter in, in their main section saying kill Trump for treason. <laughs> they have art displays saying murdering. It's everywhere. So that's why this is so crazy. So I did this split-second calculation. That's how I do things, where I went. You know, they're such hypocrites, always saying kill the president and his family, but then if we mildly say stand up to him, they claim it's violence, I'll make that point and say it, it's figurative, it's, it's an allegory, or it's political, it's, it's not physical, it's info war. doesn't mean it's a tank running over you, it's an informational. And then I, I kind of split second went, they'll grab it, they'll go crazy, but they'll report me pointing out he was covering up for Epstein and using it for political blackmail. And that all worked. They actually published it all. But then I went, oh, wait a minute, but they're trying to get somebody to do something to later then blame me, so, and blame you. So yeah. at a gut level, I think I did the right thing, but they're going to misconstrue it. You know, do I, do I like letting, you know, my ex-wife or the courts or other people have stuff like that to take out of context? Whatever. You know, we're in a big war. I I'm going to say it like it is. Everybody knows that I want Hillary Clinton and Robert Mueller and, and Comey and all of them to spend a long time in prison. The last thing we want is Obama or Hillary or Mueller to get shot or killed. God, that could defeat us. And the enemy knows that. A false flag is what we're worried about. Tucker Carlson, with high-level former black op colonels, you know, was exposing the fact they may do that to try to uh, uh, overturn Trump. That was on Fox News last night. And that shows the triumph of InfoWars, that we've introduced these understandings of how things really work now uh, until the point that reality is now mainstream. So we're winning, thanks to you, and so I salute you all. But uh, they're trying to shut us down and got a big stack of news there, you know, them threatening to kill the president. There, there were, and that's all cute and dandy when they say we're going to kill him or kill Scalise or kill more Republicans or break Rand Paul's ribs. That's all cute. I go, hey, figuratively, high noon, spaghetti western, I'm going to politically, you know, take you out. They go, oh, my God, you're going to kill our God, our so-called president. They think he's, the, you know, deep state's president, Mueller. Mueller's a joke, a discredited cover-up artist for the Saudis. I hope he lives forever in hell. All right. Larry Klayman is the founder of Judicial Watch. He heads up FreedomWatchUSA.org. Uh, he's one of the only people to have a successful case against the NSA and help expose all that. He gets demonized a lot by mainstream media, even by establishment Republicans, uh, because they're bought and paid for. But he's done a lot of great work. Helped get the impeachment of Bill Clinton going, you name it. So he's a man of action. And there are, there's a lot of paper terrorism by the left, the right, the UN, the globalists. I mean, they all engage in it. And, and a lot of you are about citizen grand juries, and, it, you know, it's, it's some, you know, guy out there in his log cabin sending in weird legal theories that aren't real. But under British common law, English common law, Judaic Christian common law, the Magna Carta, when the courts aren't doing their job, it reverts back to the people. So he's a scholarly lawyer. He's going to break this down. But just a citizen's grand jury live on television presenting evidence to citizens that are randomly called. That's powerful, and you can look into that. In the United States, the Citizen Grand Jury is a non-actionable, non-governmental organization that assumes responsibility upon itself to accuse an individual. Well, that's what Wikipedia and the globalists say. They also say the Constitution should be repealed over Wikipedia. So we're going to look at this plan that Larry Clayman's got, that last time we had him on a few months ago, talked about it, got a lot of interest. And then just as a lawyer, look at the security clearances, Hillary Clinton, the deep state, we are where this country is uh, at this point. The FISA court being illegal, uh, using illegal stuff to go after Trump. I mean, this is really, it looks like they're losing right now, but they're, they're obviously trying to strike back. So, uh, Larry Clayman, thanks for joining us. Alex, uh, God bless you. Nice to see you and nice to hear you. And I heard your monologue. You're absolutely right. We can't do anything that physically harms people because that would make them martyrs and it wouldn't be the right thing anyway. But what we can do is bring about justice ourselves. And... 
the, what we've started at Freedom Watch, freedomwatchusa.org, is a Freedom Watch is Justice League. Using that as an analogy, the superheroes did not look to the government to bring about justice. They had to do it on their own because the government had become corrupt and ineffective. And Justice Scalia, back in 1992, in a Supreme Court case, majority opinion, which he wrote, said that the grand jury belongs to the American people. It does not belong to the three branches of government. We didn't even have a Justice Department until July 1st, 1870. By the way, as, as, a, as a respected constitutional lawyer, spend some time on this because people don't understand that we the people judge the facts as well as the law, and the grand jury is the ultimate form of a jury. We have the ballot box, the cartridge box, the, you know, the jury box, the pen and ink. Explain that because this is critical. The grand jury is a group of citizens. When we choose them, we're going to talk about that. It'll be for neutral voter rolls. We're not going to pack it. We're not going to cook it. We're going to put Americans on there who are neutral, in effect. And because the they've got jury, rigged grand juries or scared grand juries controlled by district attorneys and others, we're going to recreate the true, pure thing. Exactly. And there's so much evidence out there already. We don't need more documents. You know, my former group does mostly documents. Freedom Watch brings hard hitting cases. And that's why we need to commission a grand jury. We want to do it in Texas beginning on September 25th of this year. Time is short. Uh, we need to bring about indictments. We then need to try these cases in front of a retired judge or someone who is independent. Uh, we need to get convictions. We need to sentence. And yes, we need to even do citizens' arrests peacefully and legally. Well, the just to be clear, though, ju just, just airing it live for like, you know, two weeks or whatever, 10 days, with a real jury off the voter rolls and a real judge and the real evidence, who's going to defend the deep state, though? Because we got to have a defense. Well, we're going to uh, subpoena them and indict them. They can come if they want to. I hope they do, and I hope they come with their lawyers, lawyers like Lanny Davis, who's doing a number on the president today with uh, Michael Cohen. Let them come. Uh, you know, field of dreams. Let them. Well, come. we'll talk about that because next segment and the mechanics of it because it is in the Constitution, it is in Magna Carta, it is in common law, it's in Judaic uh, history. I mean, this is the people's juries. You know, this is this is it. Let me ask you this though: sh shifting gears, what is wrong with Cohen? These tapes aren't even bad for the president, and then there suddenly something in federal court with it Mueller it instigated over RussiaGate is now tapes about girlfriends in between marriages is now on CNN. This is how, and we hear that Manafort is having his record his phone calls with lawyers recorded, and then they put that in federal filings that they recorded him with his lawyers about his defense. I mean, I'm not a lawyer like you, but I've never heard of stuff like this. No, no, this is illegal and you know the laws of the various states if even if there's a fraud that's being committed you have to ask the client to correct it first before you release any information cohen and lenny davis violated attorney client privilege they should be held accountable by bar associations so what York. do they got they obviously got something else on cohen separate from trump most likely uh they do and this was this is an outrage uh, it's something that will be dealt with. I'm going to deal with it at Freedom Watch. These people deserve to have bar complaints. Uh, I was about to say, even mainline lawyers are pissed about this. I mean, this really, this is a next level of bad name for lawyers. You know, Lanny Davis, he tries in the past to play both sides. He even got on Fox News with Hannity frequently. This is one of the sleaziest lawyers in Washington, D.C., and that's saying a lot. And I sued him a number of years ago when I was running Judicial Watch. He wasn't happy about it, but he's even reached higher degrees of sleaziness during the pre present time period. He wants to get Trump's head. He, uh, he's assisting, obviously. Well, I'm going to ask you again. How does a Mueller investigation morph into his lawyer, and now they're airing tapes in a secret federal case on CNN? I mean, that should throw the whole case out, right? That, that the federal court has suddenly has stuff on CNN? Absolutely, Alex. And, you know, on September 4th, we're going to be getting documents. This is where documents really do count, of Mueller's communications with the media as well, because this was released to the media, CNN. These are violations of grand jury rules. They're criminal. And that's why the citizens' grand jury, one of our first targets, in addition to Hillary Clinton, in addition to Bill Clinton, is Robert Mueller. We want to legally take him out. We'll talk he, about that next segment. I want to go back to just releasing tapes, because I'm no lawyer, but I read the news for 25 years. As you just said, as a lawyer, I've never heard of, like, secret recordings that a federal court has are on CNN, and then a lawyer brags he leaked them? As you said, that's totally illegal. The left has just gone crazy. Absolutely. This is why, this is the age we live in, okay? The elites and the Washington establishment, the club, walk off scot-free 
from any crime they wish We're to gonna commit. We're going to record lawyer meetings with Manafort. We're going to put it in a filing. How does a judge see a filing of secret recordings of a, of a guy with his lawyer? Can't. And, and this is something that needs to be addressed with the judges, too. I mean, look at the judge who signed off on the FISA warrant. That's Rosemary Collier. She's a, a not-too-intelligent, believe it or not, Republican establishment creation of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court. She should be held accountable as well for all of these kinds of things that go on. The judges do not enforce the law. They are political generally, and most of them are hacks. Most of them are, are Clinton and Obama appointees as well, and they're bad Republicans too, like this. Well, judge stay Collier. there. I'm gonna give you the floor when we come back to walk through the technicals, the grand jury idea. It's a great idea to bring attention regardless. And it's, it's okay. in the constitution, but, and go back to that. But folks, when they're recording people with their lawyers in jail, and putting it in federal filings, and when they're leaking to the news recordings of the president uh, many years ago about some woman from a decade before, it's it's it, it's illegal. I mean, my God, it, and it shows they think we're all illiterate politically and legally. Uh, I, 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 what does the president do? What do we do? Infowars.com, Newswars.com. Larry Klam is our guest. FreedomWatchUSA.org. We'll be back. Whatever you do, spread those live links. That's critical to the fight. And we're not just making these claims. We're changing the world. We have the globalists, the big banks, Soros, the other scumbags, the radical Islamists after us. We just had our YouTube channel frozen from live streaming because we played the president's snake speech in five video intros. And they're calling that violent. Even though I have a stack of acid attacks on three-year-olds, rapes of little children, members of parliament being threatened with death for exposing uh, slave harems the Islamists are setting up. It is unbelievable. That's all coming up. Before we go back to Larry Klayman, though, the president knows that the euro on average has over 100% tariff on our goods. Canada has a 280% tariff on all dairy. I mean, I mean there, there's thousands of examples because there's hundreds of countries and dozens and dozens of tariffs apiece, but China has a 0% corporate tax. It was 15% last year. We lowered ours to 15 to be competitive. They went to zero. This, is, this, this was our own elites selling America out. And, and so here was a clip off Fox News. I was just watching during the break. It was live where they're talking about the EU coming here, and he says the EU's a foe. The EU, he says Juncker is coming to meet with him today and tomorrow. I, I, I saw this headline in AP last week that Germany's looking for old Nazis in nursing homes whose names come up in databases who might have been an SS, even private. Great, execute them. The point is, is that Soros helped round up thousands of Jews in Hungary, Romania, you name it. And you've got Juncker, that was the name of the main weapons manufacturing. His grandfather was the richest man in Nazi Germany, bankrolled Hitler. His dad was an SS colonel, which is the equivalent of a general. They own Luxembourg, and then he's coming over here, and our news doesn't tell you that. Like, where's the Mossad? Where's... You're looking for Nazis. Holy Toledo, man. Here's the guy with the Nazi money right here. So it's all smoke and mirrors when they grab some senile 97-year-old German guy to know what planet he's on or some Polish jail guard. And it, it turns out it's the wrong guy and they extradite him to Israel. And we're going to go back to Larry Clement right now. But here's this clip as the real Nazi comes to America. Here it is. Did President Trump in the recent weeks describe the European Union as a foe of the United States, but he also said that there could potentially be, quote, tremendous retribution coming to the EU. Now President Trump is set to sit down in the Oval Office face-to-face -face with the head of the, uh, the president of the European Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker. We uh, were told that hey, he just arrived here at the... President. He was not elected. It's a permanent dictatorship like the Politburo. That's what I mean. How did we get a Nazi heir? Some guy worth probably the richest guy in the world. You know, the real rich guys will tell you their wealth. Let's finish up and we'll go to our guest. Go ahead. 
at the White House minutes ago. Leading up to this meeting, the president on Twitter this morning tried to position the U.S. as the one winning the global trade tit for tat, writing at one point on Twitter, quote, negotiations are going really well. Be cool. The end result will be worth it. The president's top economic advisor, Larry Kudlow, this morning set a pretty low floor as it relates to the right, expectations. Let's stop there. I love how even Fox News kind of roots against the president. No wonder the economy's coming back when we've been given one-sided screw-over deals. Well, Larry Klayman, we're going to get into your citizen grand jury. I want to talk to you. We we're talking off-air about us sponsoring it or trying to do it somewhere because I think this is really important just for the optics to have a real people call and see what the average public as a focus group thinks. I get your legal facts of where it is in law, but just separately overall, a year and a half in of Trump, I mean, has he not over-delivered? Shouldn't America just be throwing rose petals at his feet, but instead it's just like, oh, how dare you bring the economy back and not let us get effed over. It's very saddening, actually. It is. I mean, he's, he's done a great job, you know, and I like Ronald Reagan. I'm sure you did too, yes. Alex. But I think President Trump's going to prove to be an even greater president. He's the president of our times, and he's the only one who tell, tells it like it is, like you and me. Talks about corrupt judges, talks about radical Islamic forces that are trying to destroy us, talks about illegal immigrants that are committing crime. No other president would ever take these issues on. And, of course, we remember the Bush family that basically sometimes collaborated in these things. So for a Republican to come forward like this and to really represent the American people, this is special. And that's why we need to protect him legally and ethically. And that's what we're doing at Freedom Watch. That's what you're doing. Exactly. Freedom Watch USA. Freedom Watch USA org. So explain. For people historically that just joined us, people tune in every five minutes, new, huge audiences, hundreds of thousands every five minutes tune in. Larry Klayman, top constitutional lawyer, f uh, founder of Judicial Watch, you name it, freedomwatchusa.org. Describe what a citizen's grand jury is, why we want to convene it, what it does. It's what we used to do in the Old West before the Justice Department. You bring in citizens uh, to sit on the grand jury, you present evidence. We've already got enough to indict. Everybody, Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, Robert Mueller, James Comey, the intelligence chiefs under Obama, Brennan, Clapper, uh, Obama himself. We present this evidence to the grand jury. It doesn't even have to be probable cause in, in, a, in a true sense. The jury can basically indict a ham sandwich. But we're going to do this correctly, and we're going to do it with firm evidence. We're going to have witnesses, and we're going to get indictments. Then we start a trial, and we choose a jury for that also from neutral voter rolls. And we have a retired judge or someone who is independent, who has knowledge of the law, oversee that. We will seek convictions. Like I said, we'll call witnesses. And then when parties are convicted, such as Hillary Clinton, finally, for the email scandal, for Fusion GPS, for the Steele dossier, you name it. Benghazi. Then, then we sentence Benghazi. We sentence. And we then seek to have those sentences enforced. We can try to go to a U.S. Marshal or the courts, but if they won't do it, then we have the right as citizens to enforce those convictions ourselves. Sure, but the media always has a debate about where this is or what its enforcement power is. Regardless, if they're advocating their responsibility, everybody wants this, it's the truth, this is a way to have a focal point to bring the facts out. That's where I totally agree. But in history, explain to people, uh, Magna Carta, you name it, as a constitutional lawyer, this is where this all came from. Absolutely. But let's go back to the days before 1776. You had King George III take our criminal justice system back to the court of King, King James. And we had no justice system. So that was what sparked— And, and that's, in the, that, that's in the Declaration of Independence, is that you took our citizen juries away. Right. And what did we do? I mean, we had founding fathers. They were kind of like, you know, in a cartoon way, the Justice League. They said, hey, these laws don't apply to us. We're going to follow laws of mankind, laws of God, and we're going to bring about justice. And that's what the Declaration of Independence was about. That's what we fought the war for. Now, we can do it peacefully and legally, but we have the absolute right to do it ourselves, and we cannot depend on the government to do it. We've got a corrupt Justice Department run by a, a zero, Attorney General Jeff Sessions, and a corrupt Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. We've got a Congress that just does pony shows, dog and pony shows. Well, I can tell them. you, just the spectacle of a real citizen grand jury and then a trial would be just showing the evidence as a presentation. I understand under law and common law, it's legitimate. But I'm saying, regardless of the debate, just from the point of fact, it's very uh, valuable. It is. And, and that's why, Alex, if you can play a role in this, it's, it's your decision. 
I'd like to do it in conjunction with InfoWars because you speak the truth, okay? You're not afraid. I'm not afraid. You and I say things you can't say on Fox News. I mean, we're talking to the people. The people know that something's rotten in Denmark, in this case, the United States. And to be able to showcase that publicly to the country and to the world will show us that we have a real justice system that meets out equal justice. So I hope people will go to freedomwatchusa.org, contribute to our cause, sign up. You should see the comments on our petition. People are at the point beyond frustration. They no, I agree. Right. And so is the military, the police, everybody. America's ready. And, 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 and a lot of this, I'm not saying Trump's not doing enough, but let's talk about what Trump should do as well, just in this moment with Mueller and just, I mean, Mike, it's, it's insane how he's delivering uranium on tarmac secretly and then saying, and he's interviewed like 30 people I know of asking about me and Russians. I mean, it's just, dude, you're the one on tarmacs giving them uranium, you piece of crap. Next hour, I'm going to open the phones up to cover any topic or issue you want and a bunch of issues and things I haven't gotten to yet. Larry Clayman's our guest. And, you know, I don't say any one thing we do is a silver bullet to evil, but I think resistance is the silver bullet. And taking action and just from a court tv perspective putting on the evidence of the crimes of the globalist and the crimes of the deep state and the things that they've engaged in um is what needs to be done and you know there are so many men i know who think they get ahead because they go along with the system and just try to figure out how to make as much money as possible but then their kids commit suicide or they end up alone. They're just so damn unhappy. And the people I know that are the most happy and involved are those that are engaged and who are changing the world. And, you know, Larry Klayman, he gets demonized and lied about and attacked a lot because he helped launch the impeachment of Bill Clinton. He helped expose the NSA. I mean, I can look at 100 victories we've had, and Larry Klayman was involved in like 30 of them. And so that's why there's a big hit out on him and a demonization. So do I think... Citizen grand jury is going to save the world? No. Do I think there are a lot of people that think it's a magic bullet and they're out there, you know, doing all their own quacky stuff from their own, you know, cabins saying that's the citizen grand jury? No. But under law, this has all been so atrophied, so fallen apart, so gone, that it really is where we came from. And so at some point, you've got to create the vehicle in some courtroom. You can rent courtrooms. Uh, they've got places for private mediation that look like courtrooms. I've been in them. Uh, you can send out the letters. You can get real people there. You can put on the evidence, and that's the type of thing, because as conservatives or Christians or patriots or just pro-common-sense people, we don't like to grandstand. We're like, you know, we've got our lives, and I go home at night. I just want to be with my kids and family. I'm not out grandstanding. But evil is grandstanding, though. So we have to create the scenarios, the atmospheres, the conditions to put these people on trial if it's not being done through our corrupted systems. Let me ask you this, Larry Clayman. Why are so many men cowards? Because I don't say that like, oh, look, I'm not a coward. I feel big. It makes me feel, because I, I don't feel like I'm that strong. It makes me feel really low that I'm in the top 10, top 10 to 1% when it comes to fighting evil. I don't say that with pleasure. My God, I'm pathetic. And then everybody else just thinks it's not their job. And then it's like, oh, citizen grand jury, oh, you'll never fix it. Oh, well, then roll over to communist China. Hell, put your kids on heroin, jump off a cliff. I mean, if there's no standing up, if there's no getting involved, why are we even alive here, Larry? Yeah, you're absolutely right, Alex. I think most people, particularly lawyers, okay, they, they want to enrich themselves. They don't want controversy. They don't want to stick their neck out there by nature not in the political mm -hmm. sense, but in a sense of how they lead their life, very, very conservative. I reached a point of frustration many, many years ago, 25 years ago, and I said, I can't take it anymore. I see the corruption in the legal system. I see money influencing what's going on in government in Washington, D.C., and I've got to do something about it, and it built. And this is the culmination of it, because 25 years ago, it was child's play compared to today in terms of the rank corruption in our federal system. And we have to take these people out legally. Otherwise, the alternative is civil war and revolution. And we don't want to see that. So we need to use our... And by the way, we see the communists and the socialists, the Cortezes and the Sanders going in that direction. I mean, they're going in that direction. We better do something. Absolutely. And 
we don't have any more time. Mueller is waiting to either indict the president or issue impeachment. I was about to ask you, as a top constitutional lawyer, and, and, and you know, Dershowitz has talked about this too, well, what do you think they're really planning? Because clearly they've got the president in the crosshairs. They're, they're out there to destroy the president, whether or not he's indicted or whether or not he's impeached. But the report that Mueller's going to be issuing very shortly, and that's why we're cranking up these citizens' grand juries, because he's number one, along with the Clintons, of who we're going to indict, convict, sentence, and then seek to arrest peacefully and legally. Mueller is out there, a product of the Democrat and the Republican establishment. He is the establishment. And as you said, a lot of times a citizen grand jury, if it's done right, creates the blueprint for other grand juries to do their job. So we're creating also the investigative history. And we have to stick our neck out. Look, it was a handful of colonialists, their founding fathers, that started the revolution. Most of the colonies were not behind them. We're going to create, Alex, you and I, a groundswell here to bring in millions of Americans to support our cause. And whether or not we actually can arrest anyone, when they see that the American people are against them and are at their gates, literally, demanding that they turn themselves in, then they're going to have to leave. It would be in their best interest to leave. And that's what we're out to do, is to create... I agree. We've got to create the excitement, the focal point. But I interrupt you. I apologize. We'll hold you in the next hour if you can do it. Tell me, then, getting into Mueller, because obviously he's so evil, uh, Comey... Uh, Clinton, I mean, these are just uh, the uranium one. They, everything they say Trump did, they've done. And, and, then, and then, as you said, uh, they are moving against the president. They're taking action. They are, they're, and they're serious. And we can see with regard to the comments about Russia, which even Fox News was trashing Trump last week, you see that these Republican establishment types are equally against Trump and equally... Well, they're cowards. The, 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 they're going along with the bandwagon. Because he threatens their money train. He threatens their power structure. You go to Washington, you wouldn't see build building like that in any other city of the world. Go to Southwest today. The money that's flowing into Washington. They don't want to upset the apple cart. D.C. is the richest city in the country. Yeah, never has a recession. I mean, it does better during recessions and depressions. And so the Democrats and Republicans, they, you know, they play their game on Fox News, CNN, or MSNBC. They raise money to be reelected. But in the end, they all have lunch together the next day because they know that they don't want to upset. So let me ask, why does Trump scare him so much? Why is he real? Because he's he's breaking it up. He's 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 dismantling it. And he's no, I know. But from your your acumen, your who is he? Because they are so afraid and everything he does turns to gold. I mean, it's like, who is Trump? Trump, someone who, like you and I, have reached a point a frustration and no return. He's going for the fences. Look, he's worth $8 billion, so he doesn't need to do this. But 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 isn't you know, he I, almost like a Moses-type character, archetypally? He is. He is. I mean, he, he's somebody who's leading us to the promised land. Now, you know, we have need to do it for ourselves. We need to support him. He's not getting the support. In fact, he's getting bad legal advice because being dragged along into this attack, this massacre by, by Mueller, which... Even if it doesn't take him out in terms of impeachment or indictment. It elevates Mueller. He should not meet with that piece of crap. No. It, 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 it grinds the president to a halt as he's trying to negotiate peace with North Korea, with Iran, dealing with illegal but, immigration. But, but, but let's, take, I mean, let's take the messianic angle. That's what this is. He needs to tell us we're not with them and just lead us. We have all the power as the people. He must. How do we stay within Babylon but not be part of it? How do we leave Egypt but we're still here? What does Trump do? Trump has to take strong action himself. Uh, he should be firing Mueller. He should be firing Rosenstein. Don't worry about the, the appearance. He of should it. take action oh, against the guy in the slave pit caternining people. He has to go after the slave master. He does, and he should be releasing all the, the documentation that we're going to use at the citizens' grand juries. He needs to take control of himself. His lawyers, including Rudy Giuliani, okay, are basically in it for themselves in terms of promoting themselves. They're not serving the president very well because. They're telling him to go along to get along. And if that happens, his head's going to be chopped off. Oh, it's totally leave. clear he's being maneuvered towards the guillotine. Yes, absolutely. And he needs also to pay more attention to the appointment of judges. This guy Kavanaugh, that he wants as a Supreme Court justice, he got bad advice on that from the Republican establishment. Kavanaugh, in our cases, wrote that the that the mass surveillance was perfectly fine. No, I understand Kavanaugh's bad on that, but... Better than the Democrat nominee, right? Well, definitely. But I, what I would like to see the president do is withdraw that nomination and put somebody in there 
that will support our privacy rights because it's this mass surveillance. Well, who would you nominate then? You're a smart guy. Well, I think Judge Hardiman would have been better or or, be, or anybody else who believes in the Fourth Amendment. But I notice, I think notice when he gives them what they want, they attack even stronger. That's right. And because they understand that they have lost their power in Washington, D.C., as long as the president is in control. And I, I think, you know, look, I'm a registered Republican, Alex, you know, I mean, a true Republican. I ran for the, the U.S. Senate in Florida back in 2003, 2004 as a true Republican. But this Republican Party has become corrupt. I mean, there are a few good people on Capitol Hill, but no one listens. To no, you're me. right. Stay there. We got to go to break. Larry Klam is our guest. Folks, I didn't even plug this hour. We've got the new ultimate fish oil in. If you don't know what fish oil does, it's a two-month supply at the price of one-month supply. It's got the whole process that removes the mercury down to non-detectable levels. You know, you'd have to get hundreds of times this amount of, you know, uh, mercury just to get any of the good fish oil response. Honor Roll is for your kids. It's amazing for the brain. Ultimate Krill Oil, InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com. We have all the great T-shirts, books, videos. Without you, Soros and the Globals will shut us down. Please commit again today to support InfoWars and get great products. InfoWars store.com and forcelife.com. Hour number three, straight ahead with Larry Clayman. Live from Central Texas, broadcasting worldwide. If you've studied history, you know history's happening right now. Larry Clayman's our guest. We'll have him back up very soon. We're developing some plan for a citizen grand jury, at least to do it legally and lawfully to focal point on the crimes that have been committed. Uh, it'll only do good, but we have leadership with Trump and somebody who's pragmatic, pro-free market, isn't out to get the country. That alone has turned the country around. And that's the globalist's biggest problem is things are turning around. But then you've got the traitor class, the elitist class uh, that have been groomed because they're sellouts in both political parties who know their end is close. So they're throwing everything they've got at us right now in ways it's waking people up faster. But I don't want to be too overconfident and think that we're going to win this thing. We need to talk about what we do to win it. But... Uh, just the epicness of history, the, how the communist Chinese are literally involved in everything. Russia, in my experience, has almost no influence. I'm not a Russophile, never been there. I just study the facts. Uh, but that just makes me ashamed for the average American who I love, not realizing who's on the fence, that it really is messianic, that Trump with his bullheadedness and his, and his stubbornness and uh, all the things that patriots, myself, Ron Paul, Larry Klayman, you know, uh, back to Barry Goldwater, uh, all the people that fought against this global plan, all our work now is cresting right now with Trump. It's all InfoWars building all these years, right then at the level, right when all this hits full power, uh, you know, 86 million viewers a week or whatever before the censorship. I mean, you look at it, you sit back, this is God's plan. I mean, I... If you didn't believe in God before, this will make you believe in God. I just feel sorry for people that don't realize this and who are still sitting on the bench kind of as spectators. Like, they're on our side. They're on their own side, but they still think, oh, Larry Clayman's there or, 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 or Rand Paul's there or Matt Drudge is there. I don't think they get Larry. No, they've got to get in the fight. Then they say, well, what do we do? Well, Alex, you're right. And, and you know, I was saying before the election, you probably were too, I said, this thing's over, but for the grace of God. I don't see how God could allow Hillary Clinton to become president. He doesn't want to take this country down. So I believe that God had a big role to play, in fact, a major role in Trump's victory. I knew it in my gut Trump was going to win. I mean, because there's still people that love God in this country. Absolutely. And this is why we need to do everything we can to make sure he succeeds and that he's safe. And that he's well. People make jokes okay. about that, but there's no debate. He's an imperfect vessel. We all are. He was never a hypocrite. But Trump has one billion percent been chosen and risen up. There's only one perfect deity, and that was Jesus. Okay, and, and the Father. Everybody ha has their flaws for sure, and that's what, of course, the NSA and the CIA and the FBI under Comey and Clapper and the rest of them are trying to do. They're trying to dig things up on the president whether he's done things in the past that he'd rather not do again is irrelevant. What he's done as president is, is remarkable in our lifetime. I'm surprised so, there isn't more dirt. I mean, he's like, there's really nothing there. No, there, there's nothing there. I mean, 
you know, I'm sure he regrets any relationships that he had with, with these women or whatever. But look, he did it before he was president. He didn't do it as president. But King he David, and I'm not defending it, but God said man of his own heart, he killed his best friend in a fit of lust, but later repented and God knew it was real. I mean, and they think we Christians are hypocrites. We're going to hate Trump. He's not perfect. He never said he was perfect. No, he didn't. And, and that's why, to get back to this concept of the citizen's grand jury, we need to take action now. We can't wait. You know, every day you watch on Fox News and, and others on the conservative side that, hey, there are more documents. Okay, who cares about more documents at this point? I care about action. You care about action. So we've got to allow— uh, Come back and do five more minutes because I want to get in as a lawyer, top constitutional lawyer, what they've done. Exactly. They, they, they illegally spied. They got caught. They lied to Congress. It's like if you catch a serial killer with 10 dead bodies in their backyard, start the indictments even if you think there might be 200 more in the forest is what you're saying. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's it. I mean, we've got to do it now. We have no time to do it. And, and All right, let's come back, and I'm going to let you get into what you think, Citizen Grand Jury, how we set it up. I'd like to be involved. It just sounds like herding cats to me, but uh, I, it needs to be done. I want to step up. I, I know now is the now is the season like, like the end of summer, the harvest. Now is maximum push. Ma this is the time of change. This is the crossroads. Maximum push now, and the future will be determined by our actions. Constitutional lawyer, founder of Judicial Watch, Larry Clayman is our guest. He heads up freedomwatchusa.org. We'll open the phones up in the next segment. Let's get to a bunch of news I haven't hit. You know, when I say this, that I'm not the toughest guy around. Uh, I, I mean, I, I don't claim I'm, I'm going to go win a UFC championship fighting match, but when, when I, I've gotten down and when I didn't start the fight and somebody was, you know, a couple guys would beat me up, slamming my head into the ground in a parking lot, I'd black out and you know, put them in the hospital. The cops would ask, how'd you do this these guys? You guys weigh 250 pounds a piece. You know, one of them's basically getting ready to get put in the ground. I said, I don't know. They started hurting me. And so that's the equation here is that the globalists, they seek power. Those of us that already have innate power with a connection to God, we've already got everything. So we just want to be normal people and live our lives and be left alone. Evil doesn't have it, so they're looking for it. The devil goes about roaring, seeing who he can devour. And it's so cut and dry with all these Hollywood directors and Hollywood producers being pedophiles and just all of it. It's everything I was told by all these old FBI agents and major generals and lieutenant generals when I was growing up. And I, I thought everybody was being exposed to all this. I thought everybody knew about this, but no, obviously people didn't know. And, and see, that's the problem. That's the point we've reached. So they're making their move on Trump because they had all these one-sided deals to bankrupt America so they could dictate the terms of our surrender. But Larry Klayman, who's defeated the NSA in court, nobody else has, and and, and helped get, you know, the beginnings of the impeachment against, uh, against you know, it's funny, the most successful people never get celebrated in the media. They're the loser. See, when you have the number one show, you're the loser. When you had the success in court, you're the loser. Uh, you, Larry Clayman, you search his name. You know, it's just, that's the sign of success. So in the closing eight minutes we have, Larry, I'm going to shut up and give you the floor. Citizen Grand Jury, you're trying to convene it either in Texas, Florida, or wherever. I might be able to work with you. We'll see about the funding and the issues and the, the, the hoops we go through. But it's definitely a winning scenario. One more, you know, arrow in our quiver here against these people. But then... I wanted you to first talk about M Robert Mueller and 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 just all the things he's done and, and who this collection is and this cabal. And like you said, we've already caught him lying to Congress. We've already caught him uh, illegally spying. They're discredited. So why does the president hold back? Why is Giuliani better than some, but still milk toast? I mean, if, if you were the president's advisor, I know a lot of what we talk about here does get to the president in the form of reports. I'll leave it at that. They, they sent him transcripts. He asked for it. Uh, and I haven't been asked to keep that secret, so I can tell you that. He, he gets reports. I don't know if he reads them all. What would you say to the president? First thing I would say is order the Department of Justice, because the president is technically the head of the Department of Justice. He's the head of the executive branch of government. Order them to start a grand jury with regard to Robert Mueller. Let's start investigating him. Order a grand jury with regard to Hillary Clinton and all of her scandals and Bill Clinton. Same with Comey. Same with Brennan, same with Clapper, and of course, Obama, who was sitting on top of all of this, directing it. And, and by the so, way, how has he gotten paralyzed? Because that's the default thing to do. The president has been paralyzed because he's getting bad advice from his lawyers. Look, one of them 
Dave Sekulow is a nice guy. He's a friend. He's a religious rights lawyer. He's not a criminal defense lawyer. The other one, John Dowd, he was Republican establishment. He's now gone. Now you have Rudy Giuliani, who I think, you know, he was a good lawyer in his day, but he's a little bit over the hill right now. I mean, he's, he's reportedly coming on sometimes on Hannity and having a few drinks. And he said some things that really got the president in trouble. And, and yeah, I he, he keeps, exactly, uh, yeah. He, he's promoting himself, in, in effect. I mean, this is a, a culmination of his career. We need someone who has only the president's interests at heart. And, and that's why, it, since the president's not doing it for himself, we have to do it for him, and we have to do it for the American people and for the nation. And we are doing, what we're proposing with these citizens' grand juries is to do what our founding fathers did, to control our own legal Well, we'll come back this week or next yeah. week for a full hour on the mechanics and give me a blueprint. And we should talk off air, because I mean, I'm all about it, and I get it's constitutional, and it's a great vehicle. But I agree with you. Like, Go back to the biblical thing. Well, who was the guy at Jericho? Couldn't hold his arms up, so the people did. We have to do that. We can't expect Trump to do it all, but he has them. I mean, talk as a lawyer, just what they've been caught doing, the deep state, Obama, Susan Rice. I mean, Trump has them by the short hairs. That's why they're so desperate to take him out, because they've already been caught so much. He has to move. He has them. He does have them, and he has the power, and he's got to use it. He's got to use it. He's got to take them out before they take him out. But since he's not doing that, we, the American people, have to rise up in his defense. And that's what we're doing, you and I and others, patriots. And you're right. You know, when you do that, you don't go on established cable networks. You have to talk to the American people directly. And that's why if we do this together, Alex, citizens, grand juries, we're going to show the American people that they have the power, that it's not the people, the corrupt reestablishments of both political parties in Washington, D.C., or our corrupt judges on the bench. And most of them, frankly, are corrupt. The president was right when he makes those statements. First president in my lifetime who will call it like it is with regard to the federal judiciary. Most of them are political hacks. There are some good ones, but I've only met maybe four or five in my entire 41-year career. We need well, to take the lawsuits against me. Justices. I hired some of the top law firms. And they go and actually get the transcripts, and they go, yeah, you didn't say the things they're saying. These are fake lawsuits. They say they've never seen anything like this before. That's what I mean. The Democrats are doing stuff that's, like, never been done before. Well, and they've got these hack judges on the bench that have been appointed by Clinton and Obama. Ninety percent of the judges on the bench are these very partisan political hacks. Look at what this judge, Amy Berman Jackson, is doing to Manafort in Washington, D.C. Put a gag order on him. That's unconstitutional. And let me ask you, as a constitutional lawyer, how do they say in the news last week, oh, we listened to his phone calls with his lawyers and people, and we know his defense, so he wants this court case first, so we don't want that court case first. He claims it's better for him, like it's dirty that something's a better position for him. I mean, it's so many levels. Like, I, 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 I've been reading the news forever. You don't spy on people with their lawyers. Correct. And even the Reagan-appointed judge in Alexandria, Virginia, a trial's going to be starting in a few days against Manafort there. He made some statements that Mueller had exceeded his authority, but then he chickened out okay, because he's part of the establishment, too. Why is everybody and so afraid of Mueller? Because he has the power. And it's not just that they're afraid of him. is that there's this club in Washington. You know, when I ran for the U.S. Senate, I said, I don't want to be a member of the Senate club. I want to take a club to the Senate. You know, they all go to soirees in Georgetown. They have to be socially accepted into these circles. You can see Alan Dershowitz. So they're all you know, runaway trains empowering each other and uh, pissing in America's face. Yeah, they could care less about the president or the country. They, what they care about is enriching themselves. And That's then clear. the love they show for each other is reflected narcissistic worship on how they're all in a cabal. And they are in one manner, shape, or form. And I don't know of one congressman or senator, and I've spent time up there in the last few years, uh, who are doing anything courageous. And when you see Bob Goodlatte of the Judiciary Committee or Trey Gowdy or others get on Fox News and talk, they're doing it for themselves. They're not doing it primarily for the country, because if they did, they would be doing what we're proposing to do, bring indictments, force indictments. Yeah, I, I don't get why they don't get the sense of the, because uh, I'm a constitutionalist, I'm an individualist, but I get a collective. They always want to create a false collective where they tell you what the collective is. No, I'm a real collectivist. And then I'm a free marketer. I'm all about individualism, but I believe in the individual sacrificing themselves for the greater good, but directing it themselves, not being directed by some commissar. Does that make sense, Larry? That's what we stand for as a country. Individual rights, civil rights, 
the, and it's right in the Declaration of Independence, we the people, it's in the Constitution, we the people, uh, we are the con people who are, are the deciders, in the words of George W. Bush in that movie by Oliver Stone, we're the deciders, okay, not them. And now we have to do it for ourselves. We cannot depend on them anymore. They're well, listen, I'm intrigued, so we should talk soon. Let's talk today off air about trying to launch this. Larry Klayman, uh, FreedomWatchUSA.org, thank you so much. Thank you, Alice. God bless. That was powerful. All right, massive amounts of news. Your phone calls, I'll give the number out on the other side, newswars.com. They hope you don't spread that link. I'm going to open the phones up and take your calls in the next couple segments ahead of the next guest we've got coming on. The toll-free number to join us is 877-789-ALEX, 877-789-2539. Eight seven 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 eight nine two five three nine. We'll be taking your phone calls on all the things that are happening. I'm not in some. I want to make this totally clear. I'm not in some sycophantic cult because the golden toad, you know, has told me the great job I'm doing. I know the energy of the globalists and their whole system is against Trump. I know that immediately he's doing all the things I would do. And I know he's under 50 times the attack I'm under. And most people I know cannot handle the attacks I'm under. And I'm not acting like I'm Billy Badass here. Because I realize the mission I'm following. And, 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 and so I can hack it. I just, Trump is one tough hombre. At 72 years old. I mean, that's a one hell of a man right there. And compared to all these sellouts and all these traders, I admire that. So I want to aspire, when I've run my course, to be able to kind of measure up with that. And everybody else just thinks you're going to measure up being a trader. Like, oh, I sold out real good. I screwed everybody over, man. I'm really powerful. You're not anything selling out to the system. The system has money machines that could put a billion dollars in your bank account tomorrow. And you look at Bezos, and you look at Zuckerberg, and you look at Cook, and you look at all of these people, and it turns out that money's not even theirs. You really think Bill Gates runs Jack Diddley Squat? They're front men. You think Soros is his own man? He's nothing but a deep state tentacle. So, make no mistake, this is history happening right now. And I've said this so many times, I want to say it again. During the break, I went back there, got a glass of water, went in, uh, the bathroom to shake off the lily and it just hit me like Alex stop worrying about saving this planet stop worrying about even beating these people you're going to beat them but the big thing is getting your soul lined up with God God loves you you're good you're trying to be good people call it God fearing it just means being lined up with God like feeling good God's like you're good you feel good you've got strength you've got courage here, whatever level of strength you need, it's there. It's already there. And it's just that understanding that, but I'm scared for everybody else. They don't know how good God is. They don't know it's all waiting for them. They don't know it's all there. And it's like, we want to take all these people with us, but a lot of them don't want to come. And that's okay. We're not like globalists that brainwash kids at birth and you try to induct them into, the, into ours. No, 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 it's your choice Free will, even though many of you are predestined, you still have the free will. You're predestined. You've got the birthright. You've got the inheritance. You can go cash the check. You were given the check. It's got the signature on it, spiritually written, emblazoned in gold. But you have to take the check, and you have to deposit it, and then you have to experience depositing the check what happens when you do? I mean, you don't think in the whole universe with all these dimensions above us and below us and all the secrets of everything, you, you just think you're just given that? No. And everybody knows this in every culture, but I'm just restating, 
you're tested here at this level with little tinker toys and blocks and everything else to see who you are. And then you're going to be tested again and again and again and again and again and again and again. And again. Until there's no testing anymore because you merge with the purity of the creator forever. And then there's no more questions. There's no more because you are total 12th dimension, completely aware, all space time, all continuums, all connections, everything. And then the only directive is continue free will. Continue the experiment, continue life, continue the expansion, continue this experiment. But there are people that have gotten a glimpse of this and they go, oh, we can't let everybody else have it. We've got to have it. <laughs> trillions of photographed galaxies. It was hundreds of billions 20 years ago. It's trillions. And you've got control freaks worried about dominating this planet or teaching your five-year-old how to give blowjobs. you like, those people think they're going to go to the next level because they want to corrupt children. They're just like a poison designed to dampen down. People say, well, God's a sadist then. Why would, no, 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 no. God loves us, but took the risk to give people free will. And you can't sit there and, and just say, I'm gonna create robots. Robots are boring, but men and women, with the whole potential of the universe before them, they've, they've, they've got their problems. And you know, a lot of the children die. A lot of the children are thrown into the flames because they chose to go that direction. If you read the rhyme of the ancient mariner, you see the albatross flying around the boat, weeks out there with no water because there's water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. I'm gonna go to your phone calls here in about a minute. But I was thinking about the products we sell at InfoWarsStore.com. They're t-shirts that you might meet your best friend, your new wife, your new husband, or you might get stabbed or killed. I mean, they're powerful. Like we sell t-shirts that might get your lunch bought for you or might get you killed. We sell water filtration that's the highest rated for the cost you pay of gravity fed, pro pure, Alexa pure. They're both apples and oranges. They both cut it down to non-technical levels. They're amazing. Everybody should have it. Funds us, promotes freedom, helps you and your family. Number one thing out there you can mitigate is the toxins, the glyphosates, the 300 plus chemicals on average in the water. InfoWarsStore.com. Anything I sell is something I use and something I know is great. And that said, I remember, like I said, five, six years ago, my dad at my house, and it was like nine at night, he was over there visiting, and I was drinking some red wine. He said, you know, you ought to cut back on drinking. And I said, Dad, I do it for energy. And he said, I know. He goes, you know, you, you have a sponsor that sells EFAs, fish oils. D do, you, do, you, do you know what they do? And I said, no, I heard they're good for you. I don't take them. He goes, take them. Don't, don't drink alcohol, take three of these pills. And I said, well, it says take one. He goes, take three. An hour later, it was a placebo. I was like, had all this energy, it was crazy. There's one thing I take every day and that's fish oil. And so this has been a couple of years in the making because I wasn't just going to go out to one of the big suppliers. It already cost a lot to have them do the process where it removes the mercury. I've got a big graph I'm gonna show you tomorrow with all this. But we have it at non-detectable levels. Some spectrometers might pick up a molecule of it or something under California standards, so we don't say mercury-free. But it's, it's basically the cleanest fish oil, krill oil, you name it, there is. Because, you know, we don't get it from tuna. We get it from small fish and things like that, so it doesn't bioaccumulate, and they have a program that extracts it out. But the point is, is that that's the only negative to fish oil and krill oil and things. We, we, we have stuff that from the top firms in the country ultimate krill oil, honor roll for your children, ultimate uh, fish oil that are so game-changing, it's insane. I mean, these are big glass bottles. 
with two month supplies for the price right below leading competitors. So this baby, let me just show you on TV right here. I'll do it right here. This baby's filled right to the top. Look at that. I mean, that's as strong as it gets, by the way, too. Look at those horse pills. That right there is liquid fuel for the brain, your heart, your whole body. That is magic right there. Look at those babies. You know anybody else got them that's orange like that? It took us years because I said, I want the cleanest, strongest there is. Because I want to give you what I'm going to take. My children don't like the horse pills, so they're not going to be taking these. But you talk about something, X2 is the only thing that gives you the dramatic results that I, within just days that I've seen with these. And thank God my dad five years ago told me, son, you don't know about EFAs? Because they got in their plant derived too, and th th those are okay too. Uh, it's just that they're incredible. So ultimate fish oil, target release fish oil, it's got everything in it. This has got the stuff that's good for the heart and for the brain. Krill oil is a different formulation, but similar. It's excellent as well. But what matters is krill so small that, that they still denature and try to get any mercury out. But when they test it, they can't find it anyway. So they still do the process because krill so little that it doesn't bioaccumulate. This is clean, clean, clean. And then you've got honor roll. This is why it took us a couple of years, because I could have instantly private labeled something. I said, no, I want all the oils that are known for the brain to be the very, very best, and I want it at a price way below anybody else, and I want it stronger, and I don't want you fillers. We have done it. Let me show you. Document cam shot, please. Bust the top of this open. This baby right here is the nuclear option. For your children, you name it. I mean, you want to give your children the boost they need. I mean, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Just look at it. Just look. If you're a TV viewer, just look at that. Look at that. Everybody else is just like yellow or clear. That's because it's been denatured. It's been watered down. We didn't do that. <laughs> you think I would metaphysically sell you something that isn't the very best I can get? I'd rather go to hell than do that. See, see that's for me. You understand the selfishness of this? I will only give you the maximum best info, the maximum truth, the maximum product, because I want that good will. What I do to you, I do to myself. Don't you get the big secret? You ever seen fish oil look like that? No, you never seen that, have you? Because they told us at the factory a year ago when we signed the contract, it took that long, they said to take it to this concentration we're going to have to have major investments. I've signed multi-year contracts for tens of millions of dollars when the contracts are paid out to bring you this. To our knowledge, no one has produced a product at this level. Why wouldn't I? If I sold cars, I'd want it to be the best. The last, America used to make things that lasted for 50 years. Then they created planned obsolescence where it breaks right away. No, I'd rather buy a light bulb for five times more the last 50 years. But by the way, this isn't like a light bulb. This goes right in your brain. So my children now, I was already taking the top rated one out there. This is way better. And now my children are taking this. And this little jewel right here is solid liquid consciousness. Look it up. Find out how even the FDA and the government admits fish oil is incredible. But again, the average fish oil out there is filled with toxins of the sea. And the average company is cold-blooded, and they don't even purify it. We have. So, this right here is what's in the children's. Look at that huge bottle on a roll. And the things it does to mood, energy, it's unbelievable. This is the stuff the brain is made of. And only sea creatures have it at these levels. Plants have some of it, but, but not the full spectrum. And Honor Roll has the full spectrum. We're going to go to break. I'm going to take calls, even after take over next hour. 
until I've gotten all your calls, but it's a win-win. You fund us in the face of the enemies that want to shut down your free speech. My God, I'm on every channel in the country every day. Destroy me, kill me, shut me down. Why? The spirit of the world wants to stop us. Why is that? It's because we want justice. We want, we want freedom. We want, I don't care what color you are, what gender you are, where you're from. I want you to have a future. And they hate that idea. So InfoWarsStore.com, we have the honor roll, which is great for adults as well, but it's a child's dose. Ultimate krill oil and ultimate fish oil. And it's all wild harvested. Oh, that's a whole other thing about this. This is from the fjords of Northern Europe. Denmark, you name it. I mean, this is the, I just, I said, I want what is the best. And they said, well, no one's even selling stuff this quality except under prescription to medical firms because the, the, big, the big companies are moving in. I said, I don't care. I mean, this, this thing is heavy. Infowarsstore.com. Uh, the number one thing anybody can do for themselves is get X2, get the good iodine and take good fish oil or krill oil. And we have come out with what we believe from our research is the best and helps fund the retaking of the whole system from the globalists so you can't lose. Just like our information is dynamite, so are our products, M4Store.com. We'll be back with your phone calls. So one of the crew made the point that I don't sell snake oil. Not really anything good comes from snakes unless you're getting the anti-venom and taking their venom and then giving it to somebody to build up a tolerance, titrate the dose. I don't sell snake oil. I sell fish oil and some of the cleanest, most concentrated out there at InfoWarsStore.com. So find out about the benefits of fish oil, krill oil, and other things today. Uh, you know, I was reading about the whaling industry when I was reading some uh, British wartime uh, reports 20 years ago. I just found that fascinating. I got into British naval history for a while. I was reading some of the British Naval College uh, memoirs and reports of captains, and it was this whole thing about spermaceti. that was like this compartment in sperm whales heads when they go down 10,000 feet to kill a giant squid and they, they thought there was a lot of medical properties to that. Well, I don't know about spermaceti, but I do know about this and uh, we broke it down earlier. It's very interesting. Okay, we've got Brad, we've got Alex, we've got Rick, we've got Morton, uh, we've got Pastor Sam, we've got Mark, we've got Zach, we've got Javon, we've got Dan, we've got George, we've got Maga, we've got Brandon. Right now, let's go to a caller in Mexico. Let's talk to Pastor Sam. Sam, thanks for calling. Day after day, day after day, we stuck nor breath nor motion, as idle as a painted ship upon a painted ocean. I love it when you bring up the classics, Alex. I love them. That's the rhyme of the main ancient mariner. I'm curious what's going to happen here with the Federal Reserve. This is affecting the whole world. I'm really glad the president has put it in the sights. I hope that he strikes some, some awesome blows there. Because it's affecting many nations, I was looking up the exchange rate for uh, Chile just last night, and if you look at this year's exchange rates, there's two downshifts in the Chilean peso, a peso which is really rather strong, and that's the two times that uh, Jerome J. Johnson, uh, Georgetown-educated Fed chairman, raised the interest rates, and their peso went down. Also, the Mexican peso and the Argentinian, Argentina may not survive another Fed rate increase. And well, we're really sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, mean, I mean, let's explain what you're saying. Trump pragmatically is trying to make deals that help everybody. He wants reciprocal trade. And if you even zero hedge an article on Monday saying that Trump is taking control of the Federal Reserve, the globalists, this is the most important thing I've said today, so I want everybody to listen carefully. I know everybody already knows this, but I want this to get out there. Everything I say is like already obvious. People go, okay, tell us something we didn't know. Well, your neighbor didn't know, so tell them. That's our biggest problem is I know this, you know this. You may be old, you may be young, you may be black, you may be Hispanic, you may be white. We're all humans. We already are tuned in because we already know what's going on. A lot of you know more than I do. And I'm going to just say that. It's true. I'm blown away by our listeners when I run into them. They're so smart. The globalists aren't putting on an act that they don't like Trump. They are fundamentally freaking out and doing things that are killing Hollywood, killing the NFL, killing the globalists, killing the fake unions, killing their system because they're dying. So you just know somebody by their enemies. But, yeah, uh, Trump's trying to take control of the Federal Reserve. And he's like, listen, you had eight years of Obama with no rate increases. You've had five rate increases with me. You guys gave the big banks unlimited free money. How about we give the public some? And they go, oh, inflation. 
He's like, we're not, and I agree with Trump, we're not getting out of this inflation. It may blow up later or whatever. He at least is trying to build some infrastructure, some respect, some jobs, some factories, so that when the devaluation comes, we at least have some type of industry. And so he's taking the best course out of a bunch of bad courses. And I haven't done a whole analysis of that yet, but uh, I tried to fix the country. I tried to cut the spending. I tried, it's not going to happen. We have to get the chai comms out of control of the country. We have to get the devil worshipers out of control of the churches, World Council of Churches. We have to get control of our children again. They say, oh, don't tell your kids what to do because they want to run your kids. We have to take control. That's the first thing in this emergency surgery. Then, as Ron Paul said, if he got elected president, it'd take 20 years to fix things. So don't, but then Ron Paul, who I still respect and love, and I really respect his son, still bitches when Trump doesn't do this or that. He can't do everything. And I'm just telling you, that's where I stand, Pastor Sam. Yes, yes, yes. And it's a global game of risk. There are all of these nations that have resources, that have militaries, that have populations, 44 million. In our Who are just people. The country. left's always trying to destabilize things to take control. It's hard to keep a country stabilized. Yes, and, 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 and that's the thing is civilization is like somebody in a cartoon balancing 100 plates and dishes. I appreciate your call. But see, they want that crisis to be the managers to take control. They don't want to build that big system going forward and turn you loose. So you made a great point there. God. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a secret for people I know that know Trump and, and researching. He's extremely OCD. He's basically autistic. And he doesn't like not seeing people prosperous. He doesn't get off on seeing poor people. Um, he, he, he doesn't like poverty. Um, Trump is a romantic. I mean, they say Trump's crazy. He, he, he's completely crazy. And that he just is so positive. And that's why anybody that's actually been around Trump picks that up and gets it. And so yeah, I guess he is crazy. Because, you know, in a world of, of, of psychos and control freaks and folks that want to screw people over and think if I'm going to win, you got to lose, to run into somebody like Trump that just wants to totally build the pie and expand everything, he's nuts. It's true. And that crazy person is kicking all of your asses right now. So I'll say it. Trump is an articulate, idiot savant like so many other people. And he, he's just the crest of what you already see, human resistance at a spiritual level. Men and women are manifesting all over the world saying, we want a human future. We want life extension. We don't want communism. We love God. We don't want to abort babies. We want to, it's happening everywhere in Africa and Latin America and Asia and the West. It's just human will. And Trump is just receiving all of that. Trump has kind of been a product of where he was. His dad was the John Bircher, the anti-communist, but had to survive in the system. And Trump was involved in you know, the PR and companies and everything. But when, when the flux came, when the big awakening came, Trump was already predisposed to it. But then he, like, like sales that were kind of down, then the wind comes, they were, those big sales kind of plumped up. Because Trump is a vehicle for us to control the future. That's all men are. Great men are vehicles of the people. They're not in power. They're not dominating and controlling people. They're not looking down and trying to suppress people. They're big ships, with big, big sails. That's a man. Like a little papa raccoon with four or five of his babies on his back. He's not thinking, man, I'm a big shot. I got these babies on my back. God, I could dump them off my back on this tree. I could starve them to death. He never thinks I'm in charge. He thinks I'm going to teach him how to go down to the water's edge and catch fish and crawfish. I'm going to teach him how to climb up the plum tree and eat plums. I'm going to, and then when I curl up and die, I don't die because they go on forever. And see, the Satanists, they miss that. They miss that thing about how we go on forever. They miss that connection of how we're all interconnected. And, and they know that we have that and they don't have that. 
So they create communism and socialism and collectivism to say, we're all interconnected and we're all collectivist and we're all tied together. And, and, and so you gotta do what we say, but that's a centralized system. We're all tied together for what's better for the species and what's good for our children. We're not tied together by some directive out of some weird blue blood elitist system on CNN and MSNBC was some aster, you know, a guy worth a trillion dollars. Oh, by the way, Anderson Cooper isn't worth a hundred billion or 300 billion. I mean, he's like so rich, you don't even know it. And what's he want? He wants to be on CNN and have you kiss his ass and tell you how bad America is and piss in your face. Because that's all that vampire's got. I took one phone call, and I got another. Who's co-host in the next hour? Roger Stone's there, but I'm going to take over for two segments. Then I got to get a haircut. I'm going to take your calls. I promise when we come back, I'm going to go right to Alex and Brandon and Mega and George. Just make your one-minute point. I got to move on. But they teach you your whole life there's nothing real and to be cynical. Because the truth is 99% of the universe is real. But reality doesn't throw itself in your face. It's just there. And it's that 1% of corruption that tries to interpose itself in front of your eyes like blinders, like VR goggles, and it wants you to be in its world because it's a failure. It's a virus. It's a lie. It's fallen. And all it wants to do is take you down with it forever. But I pledge my soul, my honor, my blood everything towards human destiny. And you know what? At a very deep gut level, I know we've already won. The question is, how much pain do we go through before we realize it? All right, Brandon, 12 years old in Florida. Morton in Norway, we're gonna go to you in order. Brandon, thanks for holding, you're a real trooper. 12 years old in Florida, welcome to the airwaves. Thanks for calling. Hi, can you hear me? Go ahead. So I just wanted to get you two cents on how various groups like Democrats, liberals, the LGBTQ community, and uh, along with uh, David Hogg are trying to make Gen Z into like like very big liberals and like extreme leftists. Sure. So you're, I mean, you go to public school, private school. You're just saying that you're having this visited upon you or, 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 or where are you witnessing this? Well, it's because it's actually in my schools is because I've noticed some classes where they would actually play like CNN and then they would be like, like spoon feeding this narrative. Like sure, example, sure. That, that's been going on for 27 years. When I was a senior in high school, they put it in. CNN pays for the TVs and the cable, then they brainwash you first period, and then they have you, what, write papers on it or discuss it? Yeah, well, it's actually, they have, like, this, this thing that's called CNN 10, where it's, like, for, uh, like, students, and it's just basically, like, dumbed down. It's basically, like, regular CNN, but, like, dumbed down for Gen Z. Absolutely. No, I mean, I'm aware of what you're talking about. So, so what's it like? Well, because, for an example, during the, uh, it was the uh, Trump and Kim Jong-un summit, they were basically saying how, like, horrible it is, and then people were going around, like, criticizing Donald Trump, and then with the, the and then er, even earlier with the DACA, that everyone was outraged, so, yeah. Uh, I'm aware of that. The public schools are giant brainwashing centers in most cases, and people should be aware of it. They should be blocking it. Uh, are, are how many how many students would you say are buying into the propaganda, Brandon? Um, probably sixty. Well, it's your right to speak out against it and point out the CNN is an anti-American globalist organization. You know, and I have tried to uh, email my, email my teachers, and they haven't done anything about it. And I and I actually even gave a speech for. Uh, in one of my classes, and it was basically uh, my experience with the 2016 election, and I guess it, it really opened up some some people's minds because a lot of people were. I tell you what, Brandon, I'm going to put you on hold. I want to get you on for a guest this week for 30 minutes, and and, and I want to talk to your parents first before you do it. But I, I, I believe you're a student. You believe you're 12. But I'd like if we can talk about who you are. I'd like to actually make this public. But put you on hold. Get your name and number. We talk to your parents. We're going to come back with more calls in 60 seconds. Spread the links. This is history happening. I do intend to try to make callers a bigger part of the broadcast. I was thinking about my first five years on air. I mainly took calls, and, and I hardly do these days, but we're getting better at it. So Roger Stone's coming up in 10 minutes. I'm taking your calls right now. What an amazing call from a 12-year-old in Florida. If you just joined us, talking about how they're being brainwashed.
uh, by anti-American, anti-Trump, anti-gun, you know, cisgender BS. And they go, oh, my God, you're against a tranny or whatever. I, I'm a libertarian. Just I don't care if it's heterosexual, homosexual, you know, whatever it is. Don't teach kids. Good Lord. God almighty. Amazing. Uh, right now, let's go to Morton in Norway. I didn't even notice they were calling from Norway. Thanks for holding. Morton, uh, you're on the air. Thank you so much for calling in. Hi, Alex. <clears throat> How are you? I'm good, brother. Good to talk to you. Oh, oh, sorry, my dog. <laughs> Gotta love those little goodies, those little doggies. Yeah, three of them, three small ones. Uh, just saying hello, and then I start barking. Yeah, uh, I was calling uh, to hear how you're doing uh, with the warehouse situation in uh, Europe. How am I doing with what in Europe? The, the, you're, you've been talking a little about uh, establishing a warehouse, uh, warehouse in Europe. You know, it's funny you say that. I had meetings. I had meetings with some very prominent people from Europe uh, just two days ago on Monday uh, about plans to try to launch something in Europe, and we don't know if we're going to put the Infowars name on it or whether we're going to have it be something else. But we're we're trying to make a major venture, and obviously products then will fund our military operations politically, uh, and so uh, we do need to be resupplied via the free market system. And so the first thing we're doing is looking at capitalization for a major uh, retaking, a D-Day invasion of Europe. That sounds good. We need to wake up over here. <laughs> Brother, we know people are ready, and then that's and we understand you're under an electronic Berlin Wall, so we are preparing a limited invasion force, but uh, we are definitely going to uh, be hitting the beaches very soon. Uh, just uh, as a final... Um I tried, tried sending you my uh, resume. If you uh, needed any uh, <laughs> skills, <laughs> send it to Dan uh, Lyman. Uh, send it to Dan Lyman at EuropeWars.com. I've only got money Europe to hire Wars. maybe 15, 20 people. I want to yeah. hire ten thousand. But 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 send your stuff to Dan Lyman. He heads up the new Europe division. We got a UK division about to fire up like six people. And I don't want to get into too much inside baseball because the enemy's watching. But uh, we're doing some big things with some big players that have done some big things in Europe, uh, and I'll just leave it at that. And, and it actually scares me that they think, they ask me what to do, <laughs> like like I'm the general, and I'm like, I'm more like a colonel here. I, you know, I'm just promoting freedom, but a lot of big things are happening. God bless you, Morton. And that's why I go back to this, folks. We need to be flooded with money. You know, people were flying back from Omaha when I visited my wife's dad who's been off and on in the hospital, had heart surgery, and they're like, Alex Jones, you're sitting in coach on, on an air, airplane. And I'm like, well, first class was sold out, but but yeah, I, I, it, same thing on a you know three-hour flight, two-hour flight. I mean, like, I, I'm not trying to be in the biggest house in the neighborhood and 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 have, have the biggest helicopter, okay? I, that's InfoWars. All these other big talk show hosts make five, $10 million a year, and then they just sit there in big, giant mansions they don't look in half the rooms, and their dog goes around and craps in the rooms. I talked to all these people. They go, "Yeah, I got a twenty-bedroom mansion, and it's just a room for the, my wife's dog to crap in." And I'm not against wealth. It, it's just let me explain something. I put your money into warfare and to hiring people that will take action. I, 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 I they are basically got me right now in a frozen pattern, and I don't like that. So we got products you need, InfoWarsStore.com, go buy them. Go buy them. Because we are building something they're scared of, as you've seen. We, we are getting all these TV affiliates, all these radio affiliates. Here's the problem. TV viewers don't hardly buy anything. So it's great. We're reaching people. It's great. It doesn't bring in revenue. That's why media is dying. I'm in the Catch-22 where I just want to wake people up. So most corporations want this big profit. I don't care as long as it pays for itself, but I need that to do it. People go, well, well, why? Because I don't want a bunch of globalists and leftists running my life. People figure that out yet? They want to take over. So we have to get in their way and take the country back. I don't want to run stuff. I don't need that for my uh, resume or my repertoire. I need them off my back. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, George in Toronto, Canada. You're on the air, George. Go ahead. Hi. Hi, Alex. 
Thank you for the call. Um, I'm going to make this very quick. I have three things, three points to make out. Uh, before I make those points, I wanted to tell you I had a doctor who had given me synthetic thyroid pill, which cost me over $100. And I looked at the bottle. I had the pill in my hand. I didn't take it. I looked and looked. I couldn't find anything. But then I found you. I found the truth and what's going on in the world. And by that extent, I found ace and iodine, vitamin, mineral mix, caveman, brain force, toothpaste. It's a it's a long list. I'm a long uh, I'm a customer, and I'll stop there. God bless you, sir. And your but, but but more importantly, did you get results from it? Oh yes, absolutely. I I, I the results came and they came to my body. I am clean in my body. It's it's fantastic. Well, well my dad retired a few years ago. He still got his dental license, but I I I heard a, I went to this this dentist a few months ago, and he goes he goes. You were here six months ago. There's no plaque on your teeth. And I said, well, I floss and I brush three times a day. But he goes, yeah, but you were here before. And I said, man, it's, it's iodine. It's this toothpaste. And he's like, no, no. It's, but it turns out 100 years ago they were putting iodine in toothpaste, not fluoride. See, it's the good halogen. They take that out. They put the bad one in. It's just, it's insane. It's insane. Absolutely, absolutely. And here, here are my three points. Um, uh, what, I'm, uh, what I'm suggesting here is for you to be, I've been listening to you for a very long time, and what I'm suggesting is that you try to quantify uh, what you say with metrics that the uh, normal person can actually pin themselves to and, and become passionate about. For instance, you, uh, you talk about uh, immigrants, illegal immigration. Well, that costs the taxpayers money. That costs money. It, it, it costs well, yeah, money. the type of immigrants, it doesn't mean all immigrants are bad. The type of immigrants no, no, no. we're taking in on average have on average about a $30,000 a year drag, and then it shows 90%, whether it's Europe or the U.S., never get out of it because it's designed to create a false client state. Uh, you bring in immigrants and make them work and everything, it, it turns out great, and some of them still do that, but absolutely. We're talking about immigrants who are not economically viable into the country, and, and the swarm of uh, uh, non-economic viable immigrants will cost taxes to go up. So the well, absolutely. They are. The third world is, is exporting its losers to us. That doesn't mean there aren't some great people coming in. Uh, you know, I mean, hell, we had interns here three years ago from Mexico that are here legally, and now they're like running whole shows and doing a great job. I don't care if you're a woman, Hispanic, white, black. You do a great job. I love you. Uh, you know, that's like I said, I'll go to your restaurant as long as the food tastes good. But, you know, I, 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 you're absolutely right, sir. You're right. Question to ask your audience is the quantifiable question is do you want your taxes to go up? No, then stop illegal immigration. The next point is socialism. Well, socialism, free schools, free housing, free health care, all paid by the government. The it's government a designed to program to bankrupt the country because the big banks are tax exempt offshore. They wouldn't do that if they were under the same rules, and that's what Trump's doing. He's saying if you want to do all this to America one side, we're doing it to you. They're like, oh, God, you're a Nazi. Oh, oh. But notice just a little bit that the country's coming back. God bless you. Great point, George. By the way, I asked Drudge here live on air. I didn't call him. I didn't text message him. I said, Drudge, you're the only one, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're our only hope. Last time YouTube took us down and lied about us, <coughs> you exposed it. It became a national news story. Now they've said five videos have been taken down. We're appealing them. If we fail the appeals... Five torpedoes, three, three, three were down. So the site with billions of views, which is a test case uh, for us showing Trump's speech of the snake. So they want to de-amplify Trump. Uh, that 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 has been uh, taken down. We're facing the end of the YouTube channel. People say, okay, well, don't be on YouTube. They're already trying to get rid of our credit card processing. They're already try they already banned us on YouTube advertising. Okay, I mean, here's the deal. I'm not an SJW, so I don't whine and bitch, but, man, they have knocked knots on my head. Let me tell you that. We'll come back with Roger Stone, but that story is on DrudgeReport.com. Thank you, Matt Drudge. All right, we're going in through the outdoor. Roger Stone's taking over right now. Sorry to the other callers. Everybody host holding. It's a free T-shirt of their choice from InfoWarsStore.com, so that's hard for the crew, but get all their names and numbers. Free T-shirt, InfoWarsStore.com for all those listeners. Roger Stone's taking over right now, and 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 I, I got to get a haircut, so... I'm going to leave right now, but listen to him. Obviously riveted. He's got huge breaking news, but he doesn't. He was the wingman for Trump for 40 years, off and on, when Trump wasn't married. He knows a lot of the Trump secrets. None of it's bad. In fact, he wishes Trump would go public with it, but Trump won't. So we honor all that. But if you realize who Trump is, and why they hate him, and what he sees he's doing for America, and why he's so pig-headed, 
and how he didn't support Cohen once all this happened. Repeat, Roger, what you said during the break to me about it's, it's, it's beyond idiot savant OCD. It's just who Trump is. He's, he really is who he says, but why he doesn't like NATO or chai comms or big corporations screwing us, where he sees us and now he's representing us and uh, why he is uh, such a, uh, I think it's the Scott in him. I mean, he is a, he'll kill you over a dollar. So, but, but he won't cheat you over a dollar. He'll just fight you to the death over the debate about the dollar. So there's an extreme morality there, but it's, it's completely whacked out. But it's the perfect thing for this moment. So repeat what you said to me during the break. Look, Donald Trump ran a very, very, very successful real estate enterprise in a cutthroat environment. Nothing makes him angrier than when he was believed that he was being taken advantage of in business. Now he has a new business. It's called the United States of America, and he's the CEO. He doesn't like it when he sees us being suckered by our NATO allies. And when he reads in the newspaper, Alex, about pallets of cash being given to the Iranians that aren't in the deal agreement, side payments that are most likely bribes, he bristles on behalf of the American taxpayer. That outrages him because it means we are being ripped off. Uh, and, and I think in the case of Michael Cohn, in all honesty, my sources tell me that Cohn, who was never a political genius or a public relations genius to begin with, uh, now has legal fees of more than $5 million. Uh, Mr. Cohn is justifiably extraordinarily surprised that the government has been able to so easily pierce the attorney-client privilege relationship to essentially look at everything he ever did pertaining to legal work for Donald Trump. That is an exceptional event. Uh, and uh, the Trump, because Cohn never worked for the campaign, he's ineligible to receive the assistance of his trust that was put together to pay legal fees for some of those who are uh, being investigated. Uh, and his direct appeal to the Trump family, including the president, has been met with stony silence. They're not writing any checks to uh, to pay his legal bills, and therefore he's gone rogue. He's gone completely rogue. Uh, and it's out of anger that he's doing so. Explains why he would team up with Lanny Davis. Now, Lanny Davis is a nice enough fella. I met him in the green room. He has far out Clinton apologist views. He's a talking head for the deep state Democrat combine. Uh, he's most certainly not an experienced criminal lawyer, the kind of lawyer you need if you're Michael Cohn. He's more of a public relations spokesperson. Uh, and of course, a, a loyalist to the Clintons, which has to give people pause. What does Michael Cohn know? Who knows? What does Michael Cohn have? We don't know. The one tape I've heard, I don't hear the president saying anything inappropriate, uh, but the entire matter is a sideshow. Uh, it, it just occurs to me that in this prosecution that Mr. Cohn um, is potentially uh, one of the time bombs that perhaps Mr. Mueller will be able to mine, although it's important to recognize that he kicked the case over to the Southern District of New York for prosecution. Uh, the Stormy Daniels matter, oddly enough, seems, while it is ubiquitous in terms of its media coverage, the evidence of the president's unwavering support among evangelical Christian voters continues. So the voters that you would think would be most adverse to this adulterous or uh, uh, or extracurricular activity uh, don't seem to be concerned about it. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we're going to uh, focus in on the situation surrounding Julian Assange. My own contacts tell me that, that plans are now in the place uh, with between the Ecuadorian intelligence service and the British government, and most likely the United States to extract Assange uh, and remand him to uh, incarceration in the UK as a first step. Now, the uh, charges pending against him in the United Kingdom are de minimis. They're essentially bail jumping. 
Uh, and it is thought that he will be extradited to the United States for trial. For some unknown reasons, Jeff Sessions is cackling about this online, about how prosecuting Assange is his highest single priority, which is deeply, deeply disturbing. I am one who believes this whole thing can backfire badly on the deep state and those who have continued to lie about the fact that Assange is a Russian media asset. He is not, and there is no evidence to that effect other than your assessment, and your assessment is phony, Mr. Brennan. So uh, Assange uh, could come here with the evidence that proves exactly how the DNC material, or the emails that are so iconic now, was obtained, and he would have intimate knowledge of whether that information came as the result of a Russian hack, which he has publicly denied, or not. That's quite a card to play, given the uh, the clash that's going on in the country over this question. The indictment re uh, announced by Rod Rosenstein was meant to prop up their whole sagging narrative of Russian collusion and this fairy tale that they continue to tell without evidence. Uh, I, of course, get tied in because of a benign conversation with Guccifer 2.0 on Twitter direct message, uh, but it happens long after the uh, obtaining, at a minimum, of the uh, DNC documents and the time they're published at WikiLeaks. Innocuous. But it's the smear, you see. It allows them to say, Trump associate met with Russian hacker. Of course, it should say, alleged Russian hacker. You're here on The Alex Jones Show. It's a good time to remind you that we are kept afloat only by your loyal patronage. What Alex Jones said earlier is absolutely right. He plows every penny back into the expansion and the support uh, and the advancement of InfoWars. And that's why we need you to go to the site now. If you're not in the market for one of our greatest uh, uh, nutraceuticals, please consider a contribution, 25, 50, 100, 250, or even $500 would be a godsend to our important work here to beat back the globalists and to destroy their campaign of censorship in which they want to strangle our First Amendment rights. You can also grab a copy of Stone's Rules. You'll love it. We're at the Alex Jones show, and um, it was interesting, the public reaction, when I recorded a quick video in support of Brandon Straka and his all-important walkaway movement. Can we roll that? This is Roger Stone with InfoWars with a shout out for Brandon Straka of the Walk Away Movement. Your courageous action has helped educate millions as they turn away from the darkness and move towards the light. Hashtag walk away. Uh, other than pointing out that extraordinarily tasty uh, pocket square, uh, one of the many comments that I got was that it appeared like I was auditioning for a role in the next remake of Dick Tracy. That's why I chose to wore, wear this hat today, which is the true uh, Dick Tracy hat. Uh, it's really important to have a head covering in the very hot Florida sun, uh, and the tradition of Panama hats still exists. You can find them online at a reasonable price. Uh, but I do think the larger point here is that Brandon Straka has now been, uh, as you might have expected, the source of just a torrent of hate. The fact that he recognized the follies of socialism and the lies of liberalism in the American left and that he changed his views has subjected him to the most virulent uh, torrent of hate. Uh, that uh, few events in my political lifetime have generated this kind of controversy. Uh, so I urge you to support his movement. We need more people to be red-pilled. Uh, in my view, that is the answer. Education is the answer. But you also pay a high price for it. I honestly believe that one of the reasons why I have a target on my back, why I am a uh, the subject of a deep state witch hunt, uh, a literal inquisition into every aspect of my life, is because I wrote The Clinton's War on Women. 
the definitive book exposing the criminality and veniality and corruption of Bill, Hillary, and their daughter, Amy, or I should say, Hillary's daughter, Amy. Uh, and I worked closely with the legendary Hollywood documentary maker, Joel Gilbert, to produce the film uh, Banish the Real Danny Williams Story. 38 million Americans, mostly African Americans, saw that video. 22 million people saw a companion music video. And we educated millions of Americans uh, about the facts in the Danny Williams case. Uh, and in case you missed it, on the war room yesterday, we had a counterterrorism FBI expert, the man who wrote the education and training program for the FBI before Robert Mueller gutted it of any information regarding radical Islam, John Guandolo. Guandolo has very carefully tracked the activities of former CIA director John Brennan. When I said on InfoWars that Brennan had been an active supporter of the Communist Party candidate for president in 1976, Snopes said on Facebook that this was found false. Yet, with a little cursory search, you can find an interview uh, with New York Magazine in which this psychopath Brennan says it himself and admits that he skirted questions about his actual membership in the Communist Party. So, Snopes, people have figured out you're just a fat guy with Coke bottle glasses. You don't know what's right or wrong. You are just paid to further their narrative. John Brennan's flirtation with communism is, in fact, accurate. But what Guandolo told us yesterday was even more dramatic, and that is that at the highest levels of our intelligence agencies in Saudi, there was the widespread knowledge that not only had Brennan converted to radical Islam, but he essentially taken his oath uh, in the presence of Saudi intelligence, which makes it appear that he was recruited during this time. When he was sworn in as CIA director, he refused to be sworn on a Bible. I think it tells us everything we need to know. Now, the mainstream media has completely flipped out because the president wants to strip Clapper uh, and Brennan of their security clearances, calling it uh, retaliation. No, I call what they're doing sedition, use of classified information for political purposes when they have no authority to use it at all. The sooner the president cuts these criminals off, the better off we are going to be. Kudos to Senator Rand Paul, who every day impresses me more and more as a fighter who will stand up for America. Uh, to the extent that he has helped uh, drive the president in a more freedom-oriented direction on some important issues, my hat is really off to him. Uh, he has now got to persuade the president of the single greatest challenge that we face. They intend to kneecap us in social media. They intend to, to destroy our fingerprint, to remove us uh, from YouTube, from Facebook, from Google, from uh, Twitter, uh, from any large publicly trafficked uh, email access. It is a way to end the movement that started with Donald Trump's election in 2016. It, it is an outrageous war of censorship in which, for example, Sherry Jacobus, a self-styled Republican strategist, can say on Twitter that Michael Caputo, the well-known Trump aide's children, should be given to Jeffrey Epstein for his amusement, Epstein being the convicted pedophile running buddy of Bill Clinton. She is still on Twitter. I go on Twitter and I hurt Jake Tapper's feelings and I am barred for life. I think uh, that's why you're seeing a number of important journalists like Maggie Haberman of the New York Times saying she's not going to be posting on Twitter anymore. It's become a forum for hate and disinformation, most of it on the left. I'm so tired of being threatened on Twitter by, by twits, uh, but it continues to this day. Threats against my wife, my family, my children, my grandchildren, even threats against my dog. 
So uh, I uh, still stay, I'm still standing in the crosshairs of a judicial juggernaut as Robert Mueller uh, roots around trying uh, hopelessly to find evidence of Russian collusion, WikiLeaks collaboration, uh, or uh, advanced knowledge of John Podesta's deeply incriminating emails. There is nothing to find. You're on The Alex Jones Show. Please take a moment and head to the Infowars.com store because we need your support as never before. When Alex Jones talks about the war of censorship and the mega expensive harassment lawsuits put together him by the snotty Ivy League law firms, uh, which have no basis in fact or truth, which distort the things that Alex Jones has actually said, have accused him of actions that he never took. Uh, many of them lawsuits that have little chance of ultimate uh, legal success, but are designed to drain Infowares financially and to generate vicious negative headlines for Alex Jones and Infowars. They fear us, folks, because we are the tip of the spear. Alex Jones has a fearless brand of independent journalism. Uh, that's why they must twist his words. No, I read very carefully what he said yesterday. He never called for anybody to shoot Robert Mueller. That's not what he said. But when David Brock and the, and the uh, Cretans at Media Matters go to work and twist your words and then use SEO online to try to magnify their lies. I'm Roger Stone, and I'll be back. In my opinion, we are moving towards an epic clash. Uh, the release of the FISA warrant application on Carter Page last week exposed the entire uh, uh, house of cards regarding an extraordinary extra constitutional effort to hijack the 2016 elections. Uh, it is now abundantly clear that the entire Russian collusion investigation is meant solely as a distraction from far more serious or egregious crimes, crimes of which we have actual evidence uh, regarding the unconstitutional surveillance of Donald Trump's campaign. That would mean that the Obama Justice Department and the Obama uh, FBI use the power and the authority and the incredible technological capability of the state to spy on Carter Page in order to put together the first step of what Peter Stroke called their insurance plan. How amazingly ironic uh, that although FBI Director James Comey said that the FISA warrant application was based on a, quote, broad mosaic of information, the documents released by the government yesterday show that their requests lie, at least from what we can see, solely on their self-created phony dossier. And then, because they think we're stupid, they point out also the report by Michael Isikoff of Yahoo News. What they failed to mention is that the story is leaked to Isikoff so that he can write it the way they want it written. Then they present the story to the judge showing that there's evidence out there of these crimes. Uh, how ironic, we also learned uh, that uh, among those moving the phony dossier to the FBI was the alleged journalist David Korn of Mother Jones. Now, isn't it ironic that Isikoff and Jones have been the most vociferous jumping up and down and maligning the president and yours truly on Russian collusion, when we now know that they're both major players, I would say stooges, uh, in the uh, illegal surveillance that characterized the Obama administration and their collaboration with Hillary Clinton in the 2016 campaign. Liberal hypocrisy couldn't exist. You're on The Alex Jones Show, 
And we are, um, uh, as I mentioned earlier, completely and totally listener supported, and we appreciate your patronage. Imagine how shocked I was last week when I appeared with Anderson Cooper to talk about Mueller's overreaching and the efforts to subpoena a longtime friend of mine, Kristen Davis, uh, when the segment before me had a, uh, an interview with John Dean. John Dean was, of course, the famous White House counsel who uh, turned uh, state's witness against Richard Nixon and helped end his candidacy. Uh, Dean, uh, supported by Woodward and Bernstein, have long uh, tried to dominate a narrative that makes him a courageous whistleblower, when in fact John Dean is the man who planned, pushed, uh, and then moved to cover up the Watergate break-in for his own purposes, and then lied to Richard Nixon about it for at least nine months. Additionally, in his definitive book of all of the White House uh, recordings, which he says only he has taken the expense to do, he completely and totally deletes key conversations uh, that are uh, clear uh, that he is the one planning the cover-up. Uh, so he is, uh, he is uh, not only is he uh, intellectually dishonest, uh, he is a total fraud. Please go to WatergateWeasel.com, WatergateWeasel.com, to read the stunning truth uh, about John Dean, how this psychopath continues to be cited in the mainstream media as an expert uh, is beyond words. Coming soon is a new book uh, that will give further light to Mr. Dean's activities. Uh, but uh, if you haven't read it, you should probably start with Len Kolodny's seminal book, Silent Coup. Then I would recommend my book, Nixon's Secrets, to get the deep secret of what really happened at Watergate and the eerie parallels to much of what we see going on in Washington today. In this case, however, the abuse of power is by the Obama machine uh, and their deep state allies. Uh, we do have a special offer going at InfoWars I want to tell you about. If you purchase my book, Stone's Rules, this is my new book that has just come out, kind of my uh, field manual for victory, as it were. The maxims and guidelines that I've learned in a 40-year career in the arena. If you buy the book now at the Infowars.com site and you mail it to me uh, with your receipt, proof of purchase at Infowars, it will be my privilege to personalize it for you and mail it back to you. You can mail that uh, to um, 1007 North uh, Federal Highway, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33304. Somewhere there we have a graphic, which if we can find, we'll throw up for you. Now, let me stress that this is an offer that is only open to info warriors. I'm not opposed to you buying the book at Amazon if you want to help finance the enemy, but I urge you to buy it at the infowars.com store and take advantage of this special offer. I signed about 40 books last night, dropped them off at the post office this morning. I love hearing uh, from the infowars audience out there and frankly the number of people who have me and my family uh, in their prayers, the number of people who send small contributions for the stonedefensefund.com is heartening. There are literally millions of uh, Americans praying for us as we face uh, an onslaught from Robert Mueller and his band of legal thugs uh, who have no uh, oversight from the Congress or the executive uh, and who seem to believe that they can root around in anybody's stuff. This investigation is supposed to be about Russian collusion, but the law that governs special counsels uh, and holds them to a more narrow focus has expired. And therefore, Mr. Mueller can investigate anything he wants as long as Rod Rosenstein, his co-conspirator, says that he can. This is a constitutional outrage, uh, but it's only step one in a plan to take down a fish much bigger than Paul Manafort or even Roger Stone. That fish would be Donald J. Trump. 
Trump's uh, commitment to American sovereignty and American exceptionalism and revitalizing America's economy deeply threatens the Bush-Clinton crime machine, the two-party duopoly that has run this country into the ground. That's why InfoWars so scares them, because we are the voice of that revolution, and we are calling out the neocons, calling out the two-party duopoly that have come to, uh, that have brought this country to the cusp of disaster. No one else does what we do here at InfoWars, folks. There's great programming at Fox. I love Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, uh, Laura Ingram, Judge Andrew Napolitano, uh, and others. But other than the hearty band of conservatives at Fox who are trying to fend off the Murdoch-led reforms, we are the voice of freedom. We are at the tip of the spear. And that's why Alex Jones has a big, fat target on his back. It's why he's being smeared. It's why he's being sued. It's why we need your support today. Clearly, we have all the incoming we can handle, whether it's the stonedefensefund.com or giving a contribution at the InfoWars site. We need your help today. God bless you for joining us on The Alex Jones Show. Victory. Or death. You know, someone very profoundly once said many years ago that if fascism ever comes to America, it'll come in the name of, li of liberalism. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. InfoWars comes to mind. Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Well, there's a lot of controversy around this network about Alex Jones. Google is being accused of hiding negative stories about Hillary and her campaign by changing its algorithm to marry stories like the Clinton body count story. That's according to website InfoWars. It sounds like it's confirmed there are at least two shooters with a fully automatic weapon. Dr. Martin Luther King has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. JFK was shot from the back and the front. It was almost as if there were a planned implosion. It just pancaked. They took the babies out of incubators and left the children to die on the cold I think this is a national security imperative. We have clear things that we do not understand how they work operating in areas that we can't control. UFOs. Is this global governance at last? Is it one world? The central bank is in charge. Israel claims the attack was accidental, but some former U.S. naval officers say it was on purpose. They describe the day's action as part of a continuing cover-up. Russian intelligence compiled a dossier on Mr. Trump during visits to Moscow. Russian scum! He denied everything. He called it all fake news. And he accused CNN of being fake news. This is a national emergency. If they kill Trump or remove Trump, it will cause a massive civil war in this country. This was a theme the high level of it. We are at war with Russia. Are you aware that Mr. Stone also stated publicly that he was in direct communication with Julian Assange and WikiLeaks? The White House and the president are citing InfoWars. They can shut us down. You're next. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. It's Alex Jones. Extendowise, the latest product from InfoWarsLife.com, fuses all the known compounds that have been proven to be good for our hearts and cardiovascular system. And listen, everybody's got a heart. Well, actually, maybe Hillary and George Soros don't, but everybody else has a heart, and this product is amazing. So if you have a heart and you want the very best product out there that's designed to aid a healthy heart and cardiovascular system, it's Extendawise, available at InfoWarsLife.com. And like all of our products are game changers, this baby is the most souped up, awesome version the top formulators can come up with and still be affordable. It's one of the very best heart pills out there. It's Extendawise. So get some for yourself and family and friends. It's got the very best fish oil from the fjords. It's very, very pure, very, very clean, and has the EPA type that is specifically good for the heart, cardiovascular system. Uh, it's got the properly formulated type of CoQ10 and more. It is Extendawise, now available at InfoWarsLife.com. <laughs>